everybody, and welcome to All Games, No Masters, the GMless RPG show where we demonstrate to you all of these wonderful GMless independent tabletop RPGs. Uh, I'm Aki, uh, I guess the host of this uh, this here show, uh, joined by my incredible cast who are going to go around really fast to introduce. Uh, she's lean, she's mean, she's a goddamn fighting machine, she's a man of powers. Can you introduce yourself? Oh, oh, that, I mean, what else do you need, really? It's like, honestly, hi, I am Amanda. Um, pew, pew, pew. Yeah. <laughs> Fighting machine. Uh, I mean, lasers. Uh, he'll walk in and he'll steal your heart. It's Randy Alvarenga. Oh, that was that was nice. I like that. <laughs> hey, everybody, I'm Randy Alvarenga. I'm, I'm glad to be playing tonight with my friends here. <laughs> Uh, and last but not least, Gremlin, Mike uh, Max Isaacson. <laughs> they are very famous Gremlin. That's the best uh, Gremlin that could exist. I really like these new intros. This makes me very happy. <laughs> oh, I'm goodness. keen on this idea. Uh, <laughs> hi, everybody. I'm Max Isaacson. I'm a Gremlin. I'll, yeah. I'll uh, crawl inside your stuff and break it. <laughs> All right. Well, here on All Games No Masters, we have a couple of very important goals that you can help us achieve in order to unlock some really cool stuff. Uh, we're aiming for $250 an episode and or 15 new subs or Patreon pledges. Our season long goal is to reach 150 new subs uh, uh, or pledges by June 30th. You hear that? You have until next week, next week, uh, to help us get what I believe is, I think we have about like, 80 more subs left. I think we can do that. I think I think that's perfectly achievable. Um, uh, and if you help us reach that goal, you will unlock a poll where you can choose our final game of the season. Um, hitting $250 allows us to pay this amazing cast. And why wouldn't you want to uh, be a patron of the arts? Um, and uh, even if you can't afford to back us, please spread the word and share the stream with your friends and family. You're not only helping us, but you're helping all of the indie game designers uh, that we feature mm -hmm. as well. Uh, remember, you can also send us uh, lovely messages that we will read out uh, during the game. And that is $15, 1500 bits or five gift subs so that you can send us a message. Uh, we are also proudly sponsored by Roll20. Um, thank you so, so much, Roll20, for being a part of this initiative to show off more indie games. Uh, and I would be remiss if I didn't tell you that you can save up to 10% at Die Hard Dice by using the code natural 20 uh at checkout use command d h d i c e uh, d h dice in chat for links and info and you can order our friend critical bards dice set and get your 10 percent off uh so you're like double helping friends if you're not sure who critical bard is you should come and join us for a new pantheon on sundays so that you can meet this absolutely wonderful human being um and for everybody who is watching us on youtube Thank you so much. Uh, do us a solid and leave us a like, subscribe, comment, ring the bell, uh, the whole nine yards. And uh, it really helps the show and the channel as a whole. Uh, also, don't forget that we have just recently in our Discord opened up our peace servers. So if you've ever wanted to be part of the canon universes that we create here, like New Pantheon, then uh, you should check out the RP servers where you can create your own characters and maybe possibly run into a few of your favorite people as well. Um, so, uh, lastly, please consider joining our Patreon, uh, and be part of the new exploration society. Uh, we're hoping to grow and if we can get 500 new backers by the end of this month, we will be on track. And I know that's pretty intense, but, uh, I think we can do that. Uh, it's a crucial step in keeping on content on the air and eventually growing the channel. Your support comes with many rewards like special pins, swag, merch discounts, one page adventures written by our crew and more. So be part of the society and join up today. And with all that being said, I am so excited to introduce uh, you to tonight's facilitator, Amanda, who is gonna be telling us all about her pick, this incredibly fun and uh, intricate mystery game, Cobwebs. Oh no. Um, okay, hi. Um, so, uh, I chose cobwebs because I am a huge sucker for, uh, small town mysteries, weird mysteries, mysteries, disappearance, especially disappearances. Like I read that shit. I watch that shit. Like just put it in my face. Um, so, uh, 
Cobwebs, uh, per its own rule work, is a, a story game of unraveling conspiracies for three to five players. Um, using uh, a die drop play mat, which uh, if it's not already up, will be eventually. Uh, players generate scenes uh, centered around a single shared investigator um, who is uh, seeking the truth behind a missing loved one. Um, the closer they get to revealing the truth, however, obviously, the more danger there the investigator will be in. Otherwise, what fun would that be? Um, so I also thought it was uh, interesting about this game uh, compared to the ones that we played this season and last season is you actually need you need dice. Uh, I hope all of you brought your dice uh, because yep, we need some d sixes. A uh, couple of D12s. Mm. Uh, if you're playing in person, you need six tokens and some note cards. Um, we'll just be, you know, doing that verbally, digitally today. But we do have the dice tool, which is awesome. <clears throat> so cobwebs uh, can really be set anywhere that you want. But the default setting, which is what we're going to use uh, tonight, is a small American town in the mid-90s to early aughts. Uh, and there are three roles to play. I know I can hear you from here. Three roles, but there are four players. What gives? Um, <laughs> I will explain it to you uh, shortly. <laughs> but there are three roles to play, and everyone at the table will get to take turns playing it. So uh, basically every round, you, kind of, you rotate uh, as to which role that you play. Um, the role is always the same person like the investigator doesn't change because it changes people who are playing that investigator um we're creating a shared a shared co uh, character in a shared story um so row one call the darling our main character our investigator um they are a regular person uh, in extraordinary circumstances. And so they don't possess any extraordinary skills or powers. They're just trying to find someone they care about who's gone missing. Um, there's the shadow. Uh, the shadow plays the NPCs that the darling meets on their journey. Uh, you know, the people they interview or question. Um, it, it can be a whole host of people, but the NPCs uh, are played by the shadow. And then the machine. Uh, which is um, essentially the director. Um, they kind of aggregate the scene elements. They describe the scenes and locations. They help drive the conflict. They help establish clues, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so one, two, three. Um, getting started, we chose a specific scenario in the back of the book. Um, there are, I think, maybe about a dozen or so uh, that can help get you started if you're not sure and don't want to build it from scratch. Uh, so uh, I'd like to start by reading that scenario. And there are a few choices that we as a group will make. It's kind of a, a little bit of a Mad lib situation. Uh, so, <clears throat> excuse me. Drink that so water. this is called, yeah, I'm talking a lot. Normally I just listen while someone else explains stuff. <laughs> um, all right. <clears throat> it's called, it's snowing in May. Um, by uh, Cecil Howe. It's snowing in May. The blank is on fire. Um. The, the suggestions are house school clinic, but we can do whatever we want. The blank is on fire. And how about, uh, it's like a weird small town, like center of town kind of thing. Uh, what about like the, um, like the, like I'm thinking like Gilmore Girls, like the big fucking gazebo in the middle. Oh, of the, like, park the or gazebo, something. yeah. The gazebo yeah. is on fire. I like that. Is it called a gazebo if it's like yeah. that big? I don't know. Yeah, okay. I think it's still a gazebo. I've I just, also, I'm also I'm just so happy that I don't that, remember. So, <laughs> gazebo. I'm, yeah, I'm so glad that we get to say gazebo like several <laughs> times throughout this game. That makes me happy. Gazebo is a fun word. Gazebo. Gazebo. All right. The gazebo is on fire. I'm sitting on the sidewalk and I'm crying. My blank is yelling at me, asking me where you are. Hmm. My blank, some kind of relationship. Mom, dad, best friend. Um, 
cousin, boss. Sibling. He like has to be some kind of authority uh, yeah. figure. Um, how about, I mean, we can keep this one simple. How about like, like my, my uncle? Cool. I don't okay. know, my uncle. Okay. Just, yeah. That sounds good. Asking where you are. Where you are. My uncle is yelling at me, asking me where you are. I don't know. The snow is falling so slowly, I can't help but stare at each flake while the scene plays out. Two weeks later, you're still missing. They found your blank under the bridge, but the keys were in the ignition and the radio was on. Um, so really not a whole lot of wiggle room here, but... Yeah. Right. You, uh, you know, car, car, car <laughs> truck, van, motorcycle, uh, Ooh, bicycle. Motorcycle. Like, oh, guys, no ignition. Ooh. Ignition. Yeah, I like ignition. <laughs> I, I like the idea of I like the idea of it being the motorcycle too. Motorcycle sounds fun. sounds good. It okay. also like to me just sounds more personal. Like I feel like people who mm -hmm. love motorcycles love their bikes. You know. Oh yeah. Like they're taking care of them, doing all that stuff. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They found your motorcycle under the bridge, but the keys were in the ignition and the radio was on. The hiss of white noise at full volume leaking from the open door. It's still snowing. Two years later, I moved out of town while they all forgot your name. A journalist from the paper back home leaves a mystery, leaves a mystery on my answering machine, in my inbox, in my mailbox. Uh, At my doorstep. I, I kind of like, it. I want it to be like mm. very personal. Like, leaves a mystery. Okay. Leave, leaves a mystery. Does that work At for my everybody? Doorstep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Leaves a mystery. At my doorstep. Tells me they have. Whoop. Excuse me. Tells me they have a theory and ask if I could make the drive, the blank drive to talk to them. I feel like it should be far. Yeah. Yeah, it's like how far. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with the last one. It says two days. Yeah. Okay. Two days drive. Make the two days drive. To talk to them, says he thinks there was something foul at play, and he has some questions. I don't return the message. Ten years later, and I've forgotten. It's May again, and it's snowing again, and the sun is going down. I got another blank, and it was from you, asking me to come home. Mm. Uh, I got another, it's, uh, uh, suggestions are voicemail, email, letter. Um, so it kind of depends on what we think got dropped. Uh, I mean, I like it being a physical thing, so a letter is yeah, nice. Yeah, the letters, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. Got another letter and it was from you asking me to come home. So I do. The drive into town is quiet and I don't see anyone but an orange glow in the snow up ahead. 10 minutes ago, I knew this couldn't be real. I know this fire can't happen twice and I know you can't be here, but there you are in front of me. There you are doing what in front of me? Mm. Can we, I, I mean, Maybe, uh, screaming? Smiling? Screaming? <laughs> I love screaming, smiling. Mm. <laughs> screaming or smiling? Which one? Who's feeling it? Um, well, let's see. Because what's the next prompt is you're yelling now. So let's make it smiling. Yeah. So that we can do a swap. Sure. You know that juxtaposition okay. of emotions. And I know you can't be there, but here you are smiling in front of me uh the snow is even slower this time i can't concentrate on you just the blanket of white falling around us you're yelling now asking for help hmm. you're yelling now what are you yelling about saying someone's name describing someone i should know saying my name uh hmm hmm because, yeah, that actually, that choice, I feel like, is going to be... It's going to lead us Big deal. Yeah. down a clutch pad. It could, yeah. it could be something accusatory, like you're yelling now, uh, telling me it's all my fault. 
Uh, I mean, that's always good drama. Yeah, yeah, uh, sure. Yelling about how it's all my fault, and I and I need help. So this is all your fault, so you have to help me. Yeah. Uh, asking for help right now. No one is around. No sirens and no yelling. Nothing but the snow and the fire. You're gone, but I still see your blank in the snow. I will follow. I will bang on every door in town until I find out what happened. I will find you. So, right. so what's you're the gone, blank? but I see your blank in the snow. Mm -hmm. It's mm. May, so I like I would well. Well, also like I whatever this dark, is, but like uh, something. It sounds like it's, it's, we've probably seen it before. Like it's something that may have like been at the previous thing. Like for me, that's what pops mm, in my head. It's a recreation of the moment. Yeah. Well, yeah. So that's why I'm kind of like, well, I would, I was just think, thinking maybe a scarf, but like it's May. So would people still have their winter stuff out? I don't know. Well, it's maybe snowing. they would, hey. maybe they would. Whoever this 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 person is. Well, Maybe, do, I mean, do uh, we have any other thing, anything else to throw out? Like, it could I mean, it could be something like a, a light jacket, because like depending on where you live, even in May, like it can get a little bit, it can get a little bit cold depending on what time it is. Well, it's also unseasonably we, we snowing, it, so right? It, it I like scarf, and and the reason I like scarf is it's something personal that is very identifiable as this person's thing. Mm. I was right. going to say, yeah, your favorite scarf, not just your scarf, but like adding your, that qualifier. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. Like, yeah. Your favorite scarf in the snow. Okay. I will find you. <clears throat> so, that's what we're... That's setting the scene. Um, so, the first thing you do is called the monologue. Uh, we'll all take turns... Um, at least three times around. I think that's plenty since there's four of us. Um, making a series of short statements about who the darling is, um, who the missing is, and the state of the world around them, essentially. So, and through these statements, uh, y'all will want to imply at least a few locations that might be worth visiting or people that might be worth questioning um, or items worth investigating. These aren't the leads. Um, but they will, you know, add to the leads that we make after this. So, um, someone who's not me, please start, because I'm trying to scroll through and find what I need next. Yeah. Ah, the monologue. So, uh -huh. there are prompts in here, if you have the rule book, um, to help you build a foundation, if you want to use them. Like, my name is, um, I haven't heard from them since, all I want in the world is, I found something in their bedroom and it made me nervous blah 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 so <clears throat> about the darling and about the missing mm -hmm. our chance to define them right now um let's see let's name the missing um yeah missing's name is i mean what are you leaning toward like uh, I don't know. How about uh, Ben? Ben. Ben Isaac. I like Not it. Isaac's son, but Isaac. Regular, regular Isaac. <laughs> I just feel like yeah, I'm going to look for my Max's dad. brother. It's my dad. Like, You're looking for my dad. Ben Isaac. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ben Isaac. Yep. Oh, I see. I get it. Haha. -ha. Uh, <laughs> I'm slow. <laughs> um... <laughs> Ben Isaac. How about so that would be my name from Max. That would be my name is Ben Isaac. Yeah, hmm. uh, my name is Ben Isaac. I am the missing. Uh, wrote it down. How about we've been friends since childhood? Mm. Okay. I should write this on something bigger. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, <clears throat> uh, I am worried about starting high school next year. I don't want our friendship to change. 
So Whoa. the one thing I I would say about that is, so is this disappearing? And this is just me trying to figure out. So it's like a ten year gap, right? And this mm-hmm. person has left by themselves and then come back, right? Mm-hmm. Well, so they could start, have left with their family. Is, yeah, this is the missing. So we don't know what happened. Well, the I I would argue to make them a little older, also just okay. if only because I think the it was two years first, okay, like that they were like asked to make a like a trip and a journey. So you have to be an adult for that, yeah. I think. So, so college? I think it would be college. Yeah. 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 We're yeah, at college. college. I don't want things to change. Okay. So. I'm oh, and that, oh, sorry. That's me. Don't want things to change. Don't. Okay. Uh, the last time, the last time I saw them, uh, they were in the school theater uh, in tech rehearsal for the musical. So that's once around. Uh, we'll, yeah. we'll do this two more times. But yeah, we got to write that. This is like the beginning of this. Uh, you can already tell is pretty the kind of info heavy because you're really doing a lot of setup here. Mm-hmm. And because it's a kind of a mystery thing, it is really important that we all are able to remember <laughs> what all of these things are. So bear with us a little bit. You'll have to do the same thing when you play at home. <laughs> write down on note cards with us, kids. Um, okay, let's see. Um, I, I think I want to name the darling Mm -hmm. or at least give the darling a first name. You guys can help me with the second one. Uh, my name is Kaya, uh, K-A-Y-A. My name is Kaya. Uh, What about darling? Kaya darling. Like, very cute. <laughs> My name is Kaya Darling. I am a descendant of the Darling family from Peter Pan. <laughs> My name is uh, Kaya Rossmore. Rossmore? We're not doing Darling? No. Rossmore? Oh, I thought we no, could, call, it, it could good. be Kaya Darling Rossmore. Ooh. <laughs> so many names. I don't want to have to say them all. Kaya Darling is fine. If that, I, I, no, I, 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 Kaya Darling Rossmore. It, it, it yeah. works. Send, send, send that to KDR. The, KDR. KDR by write, sure. write, write the check. <laughs> write the check. It's uh, Kaya okay. Darling Rossmore. Okay. Uh, this is actually mine. Um, you, uh, you never showed up for your entrance. Like, like they were in tech rehearsals. They're practicing. The darling, I, the missing, never showed up for their entrance like big entrance in the musical right and that's how i knew you were gone or something around that like you never showed up for your interest entrance that's how i knew you were gone Mm. oh i see because like yeah like the gazebo's on fire yeah i get it okay yeah, yeah no that's great you missed your big entrance um uh, uh, I like, I like, hmm. I, f- I like this one. I, f- I found, uh, I mean, got to add something like this. I found pills in their locker at school and it made me very nervous. Yeah. Uh, we got, oh yeah, we got a max. Let's see. I checked. I checked at the movie theater, but nobody had seen you in two weeks. Or you hadn't come to work in two weeks. This person loves the theater, you guys. 
big I theater kid it. energy. It's Lynn Manuel Miranda has gone missing. <laughs> <laughs> we must absolutely find them. Ben cannot remain missing. Okay, so that was two rounds. Uh, so we've got one more. Yeah, I think we. Um, yeah, I think we can like bring up a couple of more interesting like people or mm -hmm. or things or places or whatever maybe that we can throw in here. But what speaks to you about? How about your parents divorced, blaming each other? Okay. Yep. Blame each other for the divorce. No, no, not for the divorce. Like they like your disappearance, right? Your parents divorce blaming each other for your disappearance. Oh. Is what I was imagining. Does that make sense? Like got it. Yes. yeah. So they got divorced after you went missing and they, they think that the other each one thinks the other one had something to do with it. Or lack thereof. I don't know. Like I don't think we have to give it that much of a finality finality yet. But like, they're, they divorce after you went missing. I mean, th this isn't the whole phrase, but they divorced blaming each other. Got like it. comma, blaming each other. <laughs> I think it need. I think it has to have the for your disappearance there because otherwise it's a little bit. Okay, difficult sorry. What? Difficult to figure out what they blame each other oh, for. Oh yeah, blaming each other for your disappearance. Yeah, you have yep. to add that, I think. Okay. Um, um, let's see. And we're still coming up with things for the darling or for the, the missing? Uh, it's, for whatever. Oh, this could yeah, be for anybody? It's... Yeah. Cool. Um. Hmm. Everyone admired your drive. We all knew you were going to make it big one day. Okay. Small town kid with a motorcycle who does theater. Like super into theater. The totally. star. They yeah. are the star. <laughs> with a name like Ben Isaac, I'm sorry, you're headed straight for Hollywood. <laughs> a buffers. We interrupt this episode of All Games No Messenger for you, the very best dog will ever miss. I haven't, I haven't seen her all day, and she just got home from daycare, so I, she is very excited, and I have Aww. to pick her up. Hello, sweet thing. Of course, Watch she out. is absolutely She'll get justified. Her tongue in all me. the way up your nose. She will get her tongue all the way up your nose. Uh, it's a fucking talent. Oops, sorry. Um, <laughs> That word is as natural to me as breathing. I don't know what to tell you. It's okay. You are fine. You are so fine. Um, All right. Okay. So that was that was Randy's third one. MPA yeah. says we get one. Uh, I've done my third one. Yep. Um, so we've just got Max and. Amanda. I feel like we have a lot of information about um, the missing. We don't. We didn't give a lot of information. I don't think about the darling. Okay. Really. So I. I. I at least. Yeah, we don't want things to change. Yeah, you never showed up. Yeah, so this is all about the missing, which is important. But like, I would love it if we established a couple more things about the um, about okay. Kaya. Yeah. Um, uh, I I will say that as Kaya, I am afraid that coming home will change how I remember my own life. Uh, do, uh, I'll say when I couldn't understand why when I started dating, uh, let's see, he probably wouldn't be, 
I couldn't understand why when I started dating Sarah, you became so withdrawn. This is very lovely. I am, I am loving this, this uh, way of kind of world building, you know, starting with some props that we can springboard off of to create a larger story. This is, this is very, very cool. Would you uh, like to, I think you are uh, gonna give us our last fact, Aki. We've already got four. Uh, Aki did. I think that's it. Yeah, oh, got four. did we? Yeah, yeah. okay, great. Yes, um, I, I was the, everyone admired your job. We all knew you were going to make a big one day. And the one before that was uh, was Randy's, which is oh, your parents got divorced. Okay. It's because it's on the previous page. I wrote so much that I had to turn the page <laughs> over. Um, okay, so uh, now it's leads. Uh, each player should create three leads of different types by writing them on note cards. Um, so I, I believe we're going to cull those leads from what we just established. Uh, I don't think they're necessarily different. They, they can be. You don't have to have a complete, it can be a Venn diagram. It doesn't have to be a circle. Um, but if you were playing in person, you would write them on each one on a note card and fold them in half. Um, the people would be on the left side of your circular playmat. Uh, where it says uh, ally, suspect, or threat. Um, and anything, thank you. And anything that was a place or a thing, you would just kind of set off to the side. Uh, so you should start with at least three locations, one person, and one item. We will obviously have more than that because we are going around three times. Um, so... Let's pull from our list or make up some leads. Um, well, we can start with some of the easy stuff. Uh, obviously, yeah. school is a Yeah, place. I was going to say the high school, like, theater. Well, yeah. yeah. So high school, I'm going to say be specific. You want to just do high school and it can have subcategories of, like, theater and also there's, sure. like, the lockers. Is, is um, this each of us does it? separate like independently of each other or are we working together to do these like because that's oh actually yeah it i it isn't specific i don't think but i we can do them kind of separately and then just kind of come together and read them yeah, yeah. but it's just more collaborative this way instead of okay yeah. leaving the leaving dead air <laughs> yeah if we if we if we go into our our, our little hidey holes suddenly gets real quiet that's true <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah. The uh, also, I think the bridge is going to be one of the locations since that's where the the motorcycle was found. Yep, I'm going to go with um, uh, your understudy. Uh, what's a good name here? Your understudy. Your understudy. Donovan. Uh, Understudy. Your understudy Donovan. Oh, is that going to be one of our people? Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Donovan. Uh, so it says name, occupation, relation to the darling and or missing. So understudy uh, Donovan are what they are were they? a student. But yeah. are they still like this is 12 years after high school? Right? What are or, they now? Yeah, right. We're like 30. Um, uh, Donovan. Maybe well, that's what we, we can find that out. We might not know. Oh, that's true. True. You know, like, or we just can figure it out, I guess. Because, yeah, I mean, I think for this, like, we couldn't say, like, the pills because it's 12 years later and it has to be, like, something that, so you're almost just kind of making up oh, whatever. But isn't that still lead? Couldn't you be like, hey, I want to find where these pills came from. Maybe there's specific types of pills. That would be the lead in that instance. Well, but you're talking about having an item that's actually like 
they are with you 12 years later. Um, right. Well, we have do to have like some suggestions. I, I would like to mention that the each scenario does come with suggestions for people, locations, and mm. items uh, that you are welcome to either, you know, use or not use. Uh, yeah. I, I definitely think we'd have to use the journalist. Yes, the yeah. journalist is one of our people. Um. Uh, let's see. The journalist about... is named uh, Beth. 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 Uh, Beth Myers. Well, I'd love for us not to get too into. We can name that, but I'd love for us not to get too into that, just because that is technically like the machine's job when we're creating okay. a scene. But. Uh, all right, we'll, we'll, then we'll worry about we'll, we'll, we'll worry about the name when we get there. Maybe we'll come up with something different that we like better. Do it. So. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna uh, go with because I wanted like something to midnight uh, used to early aughts. So you're not gonna really have voicemails. Um, we had we had the the letter. There was the letter that we got. Oh, from. Yeah. From uh, from Ben, yeah, yeah. That's that's a good item. Yeah, the letter. The letter. Yeah. I'm gonna say. An, I'm gonna say an, an, some kind of audio recording um, of. The girl, the girlfriend. What did I say? Her name was Sarah. Uh, Sarah. An audio recording of Sarah. Is it Sarah with an like an A at the end or an H? <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. I'm spelling mine with an H. Okay. Yeah, I, I also spell have mine with an, with an H. Yeah. Um. Uh, let's see. So let's see. We need at least one more place. Um, we need another place, and do we need another person too? We have two yeah. people. Yeah, we, have two well, two items. we only have to start with three locations, one person, and one item. But oh, got it. how um, about how about the missing? We each go around three times. There should be twelve things. I'm just saying. Right now, we're only at two locations. Yeah. So how about the the missing's father? Uh, uh, as for one sure. of our people, we yeah. Okay. Pa Isaac. Uh, His <laughs> last name was Isaac. <laughs> do we want Do we want to put down the movie theater as well? Yes. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, uh, I mean, clearly, clearly the scarf has significance. Uh -huh. yeah. But, it, yeah. but so is that I a motif or is it an actual lead? Because that's, that, uh, that's the that's other true. thing that I'm confused I wanna about. Call it a, I want to call it a lead because okay. I think we can come up with a different motif, but I haven't gotten to the motifs yet, but um, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's nine things. Uh, if we have a couple more that we can just like randomly think of. Um, recording Sarah, father. Um, I'd like to just cook up a kind of, uh, you know, how about, um, I'm trying to think of like a weird kind of person who is like, Oh, one of the uh, the manager at How the theater. A lumberjack. Theater people. A lumberjack. A lumberjack. Who is the yeah. owner of the movie theater? No, I'm ah. just kidding. It's just a random lumberjack. A lumberjack. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's do. That's one random person. We, maybe we have one random place and one random thing that has nothing to do with anything. Um, or at least we don't think it has anything. And we don't think anything. it has anything. Um. um I'm gonna say. Uh, the the ice skating pond Ooh. like it's in in may it's probably just a pond but like the ice skating pond where everyone ice skates okay well i mean again snowing in may true might not be cold enough for for ice skating though okay so rand a random thing um mm. a frying pan a I mean, pan. that is a random thing. That is. <laughs> I like it. Frying pan. Okay. Specifically, so. the cast iron pan that belonged to 
uh, Ben's mom. Okay. Okay. So we have high school, the bridge, your understudy Donovan, a journalist, the letter, an audio recording of Sarah, Ben's father, the movie theater, uh, the scarf, a lumberjack, the ice skating pond, and a frying pan that belongs to Ben. Oh no, we lost our Amanda. It's a pretty good moment for a freeze though. Uh, actually that is, you know what we're going to do? I think we're gonna take that as a sign that it's time to go ahead and go on our break. Now that we've <laughs> kind of finished like this part of setup, we're gonna go ahead and uh, take our take our 10 minute break here. And when we come back, we will continue to set up and, and get ready to, to go with uh, more cobwebs. So uh, we'll see you guys at about five till eight. And until then, uh, grab some water, move around, stretch, and we'll be back soon.
and welcome back to <laughs> All Games Yo Masters. We have returned to complete our setup for Cobwebs, which is being facilitated by the incredible amazing uh, uh, Amanda. So without any further ado, I will toss it back over her way. <laughs> okay, um, so we had finished uh, creating our leads. Um, there are two last things uh, that you need to, to create. One is a motif. Uh, there's going to be a single motif that is going to somehow help tie your story together. Um, and it can be really whatever you want. Um, I like, I think the, uh, ones suggested are pretty cool. Uh, I like the white noise, uh, or the blood in the snow. Uh, I think that's pretty neat, but open to other suggestions. I mean, I'm down to... T kind of twist that blood in the snow thing and make it the scarf that we just keep seeing like sc the scarf in different places and different, you know, like these yeah. kind of moments the of scarf. like Can this odd scarf remembrance. be a lead and a motif? See, that's maybe. Oh, maybe is it so. currently a lead? <laughs> it, is. it is a lead, yeah. <laughs> oh, balls. Sorry, I didn't write that me. down. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um. Okay, well, given that though. Um, I like the idea of the white noise. Um, I think there's possibly something interesting in that. Yeah, I'm done with that. Okay, so motif, white noise. Um, the last thing is uh, all four of us will have a note card to ourselves that uh, with our short uh, running theory of what happened to the missing. Um, and that will update as we go through. Um, it's just kind of your own personal, you know, theory that you keep updating. And, you know, you can kind of see if you can play that into uh, some of the scenes if you want. Um, so uh, now we've done some setup. I'm going to do just a little bit of explaining um, uh, specifically about the, oh, yeah. I think there's one thing we are forgetting to do. Oh, what's that? Uh, there are four players, but we only have established three characters. Oh, right. Um, yes. So uh, there are options uh, if you want to play with four or five people. Um, and in what is probably not a surprise, that just involves uh, doubling up. So hang on, I'm bringing the page up so I can take a look at it real quick. You can either play with multiple darlings or you can play with multiple shadows. Um, we decided that we wanted to play with multiple darlings. So you, every darling has their, each darling has their own mission and methods and responses, um, but they tend to do things together. Uh, they go into these scenes together usually. If they don't for some reason, um, it basically counts as, as two turns. Um, so, uh, we, I made a little bit of a mistake. We really should have done this before because it does kind of, uh, help inform the opening monologue, which was when we went around and made a bunch of statements at the very beginning. Um, but since I forgot, we will just have to roll with it. Um, who do we, or what person do we want, um, the second darling to be? Uh, I mean, you know, there's your basic and just say that, you know, Kaya has a twin. Uh, that's is that all. our basic? I don't know if that's our basic. <laughs> I, think that's I don't know. Kai has an evil like twin for a you... secret parent. No one said evil. Oh, yeah. I'm just sorry. saying, like, I mean, they that's are... what the, that would be good. And like, like, like Max is like, I mean, hey. an identical, <laughs> an identical twin that, like, you know, and nobody could tell the difference between Kaya and this person except for Ben. Maybe is an interesting premise. Yeah. Sure. So. <laughs> Maybe another, so, yeah, uh, maybe like Sarah, uh, we've brought her up in the story already. We know some things about her. Ah, uh, yes. The X. Yeah, but we did yeah. say that like the scarf couldn't be a motif because it was a lead. Should like the fact that we have Sarah on, you know, as, as like an, her, an audio recording of her, I feel like that makes things complicated. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like this is already a little bit complicated enough. So I, I would like, I, I think I would want to go with yes. the, uh, the twin uh who no one can tell they can't tell apart except for ben so what? um aki I... my name is the first twin. Yeah. my name is maya darling rossmore 
Kaya That's some and Maya. Shit you're pulling right there. <laughs> Very okay with it. Wait, is Maya's? Oh, is Darling Rossmore a hyphenate name? Yeah, it is. It is now. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, okay. that's what I think of it as. It's a it's a hyphenate. It. Yeah, Maya Dar Darling Rossmore and Kaya Darling Rossmore. Just the okay. most. What 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 the fuck is this name? I love it so much. <laughs> All right. Okay. Where so cool. Paris? We we got back on track there. Um. So the play mat. Uh. It's the circle here. Um, you'll see that around the very edge uh, are the numbers 1 through 12. That's pretty obvious. That's uh, a clock. Uh, so as the game progresses, uh, the darling will only have a certain amount of time to solve the mystery. Um, when, you when you're playing in person, you have a token. It starts at 1. Um, and at each scene, with one exception, causes it to move to, a to the next number. So 1, 2, 3. Um, your investigation, you know, will end. That's one of the ways it can end is when it gets to 12. Um, there are, mo there's six different kinds of scenes, which I'll get to. And one of them, if you act them out, means the time doesn't move. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But there is a way to have a scene where the clock does not move. Um, <clears throat> uh, and, you know, also, of course, the closer you get to the end, the more danger you'll probably find yourself in. Uh, we talked a little bit about the left side. Um, it is to track the status of the various NPCs um, because you'll meet people, <laughs> you know, investigate, make friends, make enemies. Um, but it's a mystery. So it's not always clear, you know, who is kind of with you, against you. Um, and that can also change during the, con uh, the context of the story that we're about to tell. Um, <laughs> question. Yes. These four leads that we have created that are people, do we place them on the board now? That's a good question. Um, when you're proven. You place it on the outer ring. So it ha if you if you place a character there, it has to be on the outer ring. Um, mm. but I don't think we define people yet because we haven't put any scenarios together. Uh, and unless we wanted to start with, I guess, who they were at the time, but I think we hold on it basically, like long story short. Um, but yeah, characters will change position both in a circular fashion and depth by going in closer to the middle. Um, the closer a character gets to the middle, the more danger uh, the investigator is in, the more danger that character presents uh, to the investigator. Uh, especially if they're a suspect or a threat. Um, all right, so danger. Uh, as I said, the closer you get to the truth, the more danger you are in. Um, there are six danger tokens. If they all end up in the center of that play mat, uh, that's the other way the game ends. That is not the good way the game ends. <laughs> um, what happens? Uh, Do we get ice well, cream? No, no, you just kind of probably go missing also or something equally upsetting um so the right side of the playmat is the thing that we're not really going to be able to use tonight uh because it involves physically dropping dice um to kind of help you pick which of the six scenes that you're going to to use as a framework um what we're going to do instead since we're a digital is we'll just roll an additional d6 which will help us uh, determine which of these scenes uh, we're going to be acting out next. Uh, so. Roger that. Yeah. Be reasonable. Once once all the dice that we have to, to roll are rolled, um, you know, we'll all consult it and it will help us together create the scenario that we will then do. So um, the six, uh, the six uh, scene prompts are through the shadows, which is like, Hiding, sleuthing, conduct interview, research, explore location, uh, memory, which is the only part of this story where the missing is an active character. Um, otherwise, they're gone. You know, you might you'll talk about them, obviously, but that's it. They are not actually involved in the story. Um, and the sixth one is called concerned for safety. Um, this is the type of scene where the clock doesn't move forward. Um, and when we get to get there, I'll come back and I'll explain it in more detail, but we're not going to. So I think the next thing we should do is decide 
um, because we're going to get into kind of pre-scene and setting up for the first one, is who's going to start playing which role. And we are going to rotate that. It's like like a little wheel. Um, But uh, it should go, uh, I think, Darling, Shadow, Darling, uh, machine machine, so that you're not having to play darlings twice in a row it kind of paces it out a little bit um, so I'm going to make a little a little clock mm-hmm. alright anybody really really want to start playing one thing or, or in particular I want to start with a darling I'll be a darling I don't care okay. which one uh, well why don't you be Kaya then okay I will be Kaya, um, darling Rossmore. Sh- should we do it that the first darling is always Kaya and the second darling is always Maya? Yeah, yeah. I think so. Okay. Kaya, Maya. Um, I'll be the machine. I'll give that a go. I don't know. Okay. So, Genie, Max, machine, darling, Kaya. Um, I Brandy? Think- I am neutral, but uh, let's go with the. Can I can I make a su- yeah? Can yeah. I make a suggestion based on our Twitch layout? It's probably best for you to be one of the other darlings. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so Randy will be darling Maya, yeah. and that leaves <laughs> me. You really should have named one of them as the shadow. Um. All right. So this is where you need to have those dice ready, y'all. Um, I got him. So, oh, this is too many dice. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no such oh, thing. No. I just I heard a lot of rolling sounds. All right. So, uh, darling, each darling rolls one die. Uh, the shadow rolls one die. Uh, D6. The machine rolls a D12. Whoop, shoot. Cool. Okay. Okay. Um, so, uh, Aki has a two. Yep, I rolled a two. Uh, I have a. Six. What did uh, rolled a six? My goodness. Okay. So two, six. I got a four, Max. I got a seven. Um, seven on the D twelve. Okay. So, the darling. If okay, we don't have any danger token. So, the result of your die will be the focus of your following scene. If it's one or two, it's establish a new lead. If it's three or four, it's develop information on an existing lead. If it's five or six, you establish a truth. So, I think the two of you uh, can have different ones, but it probably would be best if you we just kind of decided which one you wanted. Um, so, and then you choose two leads of different types, but don't tell us what they are. So each of you can pick one, I think. Each of you pick a lead that we have on the list, but don't tell us what. Okay. Um, The shadow, I rolled a die. Um, The shadow's die tells them how the NPC is gonna act toward the darling. Either they're an ally, a suspect, or a threat. Um, One, two is ally, three, four is suspect, Five, six is threat. So I'm a suspect. Whoever I end up playing is definitely going to be is going to be a suspect. Um, the machine is the one who assigns me a character to portray, though. Uh, so Max, mm. that's for you. Um, the machine's D12 uh, is the way that we determine whether there is additional danger, um, because if that D12, uh, if its total is less than the where the time token is. You add a danger token. Um, so, why um, don't? Oh, what? Uh, just uh, one thing. I'm looking at the shadow, just because uh, you don't have to let us know what your motive is. Oh, oh, oh! Hey, okay. So, like, you can Relate that way. Oh, like, okay. Like, if it's a friend and you're a suspect, if there's like a. I mean, okay, let me do it again and I just won't tell because, yeah, that's that. It, thank you. That yeah. is important. Okay. All right. So, as I said, so if uh, you need to add a danger token because the total of the D12 is less than the time, uh, 
the following scene should absolutely involve more danger machine um right all right so that is how that is the pre scene i know it's a lot of setup uh but now uh the machine gets to establish a scene um you can choose a lead or you can create a new one for the shadow who is me um but basically your job is to describe the circumstance in which the darling finds themselves in lots of detail okay well so um i'm going to have you play beth myers the journalist okay um uh and do i tell you now or is it up to it's up to you if beth myers is an ally a suspect or a threat is that correct it's up to the dice that i roll yeah yeah you got it but it's had nothing to do with me okay so you're just direct you're yeah you're directing you're going to set the scene where uh maya and kaya come and 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 find uh me find beth myers okay so maya and kaya have come to town they've seen a secondary fire ben was yelling at them the scarf it's snowing great okay They look up and they see Beth Myers across the park. The snow almost seems to start falling even more slowly, like this moment has been highlighted just for them. Like this is somebody they needed to see and the universe in a certain way has allowed them this vision. As they see Beth, Beth turns and walks into a building a small kind of cute looking old building kind of wood you know uh white wood uh slats you know it's got a kind of colonial vibe to it and just above it in gilded lettering on the on the sign above the door it says um the Cranston Gazette they follow Beth into the gazette and she's sitting there working at her desk and looks up to see them well i'll leave the reaction to you the gazette is a small place a few people were there most of them are out at lunch um beth is there working away but it's fairly quiet just the typing of typewriters you know small town not a lot happens uh all right That's the scene. All right, Maya. Um, I think we. You're Maya. I'm Kai. Oh, I'm just so, 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 thank you. Uh, uh, all right, Kai. It's tough think... enough that nobody else can tell the difference between us. Now you've got to start. No, it's it's. There's just a lot going on. Seeing that gazebo again like that, um, it was a little shocking. Um, I think we need to talk to Beth. And. Yeah, I mean, you're obviously right. Um. All right. Um. After you. All right. And so then uh, I, w I walk over to the desk, tap on it uh, to get her attention. Uh, excuse me. I, I believe you sent us a letter. Um, I'm sorry? No. Uh, the information? Uh, I'm I'm Kaya. This is Maya. You sent us a a packet of information. Oh, 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 goodness! Yes, hello. Um, I honestly never expected. It's been years. Yes. Um, we're a little bit late responding to you, and we're sorry about that. We just didn't know what to do with the information you sent us. We just wanted well, to know what's. <laughs> You said there was something we needed to come and talk to you about. Yeah, well, gosh, um, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to think back a little bit. That was quite a long time ago. Uh, yeah, you know, I mean, at the time I was, uh, I was just, I was a brand spanking new journalist, you know? I was really looking to, uh, to figure out how to make my way, how to make my mark, um, how, to, how to get some attention, to get some, get a byline, you know? Um, so I, I just kind of, well, I paid a lot of attention to, to Ben's disappearance. I think, uh, I think more, more, definitely more than, than anybody else in town, any of the journalists, anybody else, they all kind of lost interest, but 
just doesn't make sense. You know, a kid of a kid of that caliber who just, you know, had nothing but sunshine, it seemed like coming his way. You know, uh, I, I went and interviewed everybody, his parents, his classmates, his theater competition. And everyone loved, everyone seemed to love him. Not a bad word to say. But to disappear like that? With the fire to miss the performance, you'd have to be blind not to know there was something else going on. Um, well, I mean, the high school, like the theater, like the whole show was so important to Ben. Um, missing his big entrance like that, just none of it ever felt right to us. Like he wouldn't have just disappeared without some sort of explanation exactly exactly it was just seemed incredibly out of character for the the young man that i uh that i felt like i got to know a little bit by 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 talking to everybody we we got something in the mail uh a few weeks ago which is why we've come down here that we don't know what to make of it we don't understand how it ended up in our home, but uh, okay. Um, well, I, I I didn't send you anything. I sent you the, yeah, you know, the package yeah. a, a, a bit ago with just you know the clippings that I found and just some some notes and and other odds and ends, but certainly nothing that unfortunately pointed to an answer. What what did you get? And Kaya pulls like a, a, a creased envelope out of their back pocket and kind of she just sort of hands it over. We received a letter from Ben. I, I'm, that's really hard to believe. Um, you're telling, you're telling me. Um, um, that's his signature. Are you, sure? are you sure that's him? I mean, there are, you know his handwriting that intimately after all these years? We used to write letters in class all the time to each other. I could know his writing anywhere, right? You've known him since we were kids. Well, it also could have been imitated by any well, number of person. I, I listen. I just, I just don't want you to get your hopes up. You know. I mean, I, I certainly hope that it, that it is Ben that he's written to you after uh, twelve years. Um, well, is is there any way we can we can check? Like, we don't really have the resources to check if something has been forged or not. I oh, I mean. <laughs> Kai and Maya, I, I work for a small town paper still. Uh, if I had those kind of connections, I would have hopefully moved on up quite a bit sooner. Well, um, has anyone else, have you talked to anyone else recently about any of this? Has anyone else come in? No, I mean, there's been no reason to revisit, uh, you know, until just now when... Those, those clippings you sent us, did you send them to anybody else at the time? Let me see. Um, well, I mean, I, I did send them to uh, the family. I sent them to Ben's parents, uh, I, to his father. Um, but it didn't, no, no one else. It didn't seem right somehow. Did either one of his parents come by to talk to you about them? You know, his mother was, his mother was just, devastated uh as i'm sure well i couldn't understand at the time but now i can i have a i have a seven-year-old um but the father uh, he was really he, you know robert was very um dedicated at least in the beginning um you know his only his only child uh up and disappeared like that. But I can't say he showed a particular interest in what I had dug up. Hmm. But what wouldn't did you... happen to still have any of those clippings or, or copies of them? Just, it's been so long. I, I would love the chance to look them over again. You know, honestly, they'd be in storage. It's not an active thing. It's not an active investigation. It's not an active story that I had been pursuing. Um, so it would be in in storage in the back. Uh, you're welcome to, to take a look if you like, but I wouldn't exactly say the filing system uh, was stellar. 
I mean, oh, if... let me interrupt this real quick. I apologize. Mm. The scene mm -hmm. is su supposed to end when uh, you've achieved your when the darling has achieved their goal, which they formulated based on uh, the leads that they drew um, and just kind of the way the story is going. But also because you're either establishing a new lead developing information on an existing lead or establishing a truth. So once the darlings feel like they have gotten that done, uh, they can give a signal and say, you know, you can snap your fingers, you can knock on the table, you can say done, whatever, to indicate to the machine that it's time to bring the scene to a close. Mm -hmm. um, so we've been doing exactly what we're supposed to do mid scene playing the darling's thoughts, actions, whatnot. I'm giving you as the shadow another presence to lean on and react to. Um, the machine is welcome to uh, kind of chime in okay. during these scenes, specifically if one of the darlings ha has a question. Um, they can either ask the shadow or they can ask it of the machine. Um, cool. So we keep that in mind uh, as we go along. But... I just wanted to make that as far as like, you're trying to achieve that goal that you rolled. Mm -hmm. um, and we're just kind of here, the machine and the shadow are here to help you facilitate that in an obviously a role-playing fashion. Um, so. Okay. If you reach your goals, let me know. <laughs> yes. If uh, So you're okay with us going back there and taking a look then? Oh, of course. Um, I apologize in advance for all the dust now that we're finally all digital. Uh, no one's been back there in quite a while. Yeah, I guess that's understandable. I, I, I'm so thankful. It, maybe we'll find something looking through it again. I, I just, I just want to know more. That was missed. But yeah. yeah, well, we'll head back and see if we can't find it. Well, I, I, I certainly hope that you find something. Um, certainly, just bizarre. Bizarre to snow in May again. Well, you let That's me know if you find anything else. warming out. for you. <laughs> and uh, I, I, I did uh, complete my goal. So. Mm. Uh, as you go to to check out the kind of storage room in the back, a, a young kind of like uh, probably late teens, early twenties kid, kind of like like bolts up and is like oh, oh like hey where are you going no one you're not allowed back there we beth, beth said we could take a look at some of the old files uh, oh oh uh, yeah oh. okay hey are you from around here used to be hmm Thought I recognize you. All right, have a good one. And the kid kind of like heads out the front door and leaves um, a little unceremoniously. Cool. Gonna head into the back there and start rummaging through the boxes to see if I can find that file. Beth was not kidding. This place is a fucking mess. Like nobody has given a shit about these paper, any of the files physical files in this it, place in a long time. Is it full of cobwebs? There are some cobwebs. Absolutely. Uh, but most notably, it is just Dust City. And it's not alphabetized. It's not chronological. There's no Dewey Decimal in this puppy. You know, people just would put stuff in a box and they'd put it on a shelf. And maybe once upon a time, there was staff to handle this. But nowadays, no. No. We're we're gonna just kind of I, I think Kaya's instinct is to start towards the back since it's like a decade ago. Uh, and, 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 and Maya there. will start from the front and sort of plan to meet in the middle if they can't find them. Yeah. As you kind of search through, there's no specific file that you're finding about Ben Isaac going missing. You haven't gotten to that yet. But the two things that you do find that seem interesting is one is about the recurring snowfall in May on this date. It happens every four years. And it's almost like clockwork. 
nobody's really paid much attention to it because, you know, acid rain and whatever, you know, and there's smog coming out of Beijing and everything's crazy. You know, plenty of leftover from the Red Scare. But it's a little weird that it does seem to snow like this every four years. <laughs> the other article you find is about the burning of the gazebo. That it's happened one other time in this town. Not while it was snowing. And it seems like it was just vandal kids. But it has happened before. Uh, cool. Um, I think I've got my thing. Um, but yeah. In, in any case, they they're, they're, she's going to still con- try to continue to complete her search, but keep those kind of two pieces of information set aside as well. At the moment, that's about all you get through for the day. Mm-hmm. You might be able to come back and keep looking, but you haven't found the case, the, the file on Ben Isaac's missing okay. missing persons. Cool. All right. Yep. That I think is... that scene's done. Good. All right. Uh, yes. Sorry. Yes. Oh, I was just going to say, so post scene, uh, everyone also has kind of a, something to do before we switch. So um, the darling's job is to add the, the things that you learned um, to the, if we were playing in person, add it to the play mat. Um, you're basically ch- adding or subtracting or altering lead cards based on the scene that you just had. Um, and then you alter your working theory if something that happened changed it. Right. Um, the shadow takes the card of the character they portrayed to an adjacent space. So you can either go from an ally to a suspect, or you can go from like a casual, easy to reach kind of whatever ally in to become a little bit in a little deeper. Um, so for, and you can't move away, you can only move inward or you can like rotate. So you can't go from ally directly to suspect, you'd have, to, or directly to threat rather, you'd have to go to suspect first. Mm. And like go around like that. Um, and things can change back and forth like all the time. Um, so I'm going to move, because of the way the scene went, I'm going to move Beth a little bit closer in the ally. So she's a level two ally now. Um, oh, no, poor Beth. Be careful. <laughs> because, Wait, you know, dumbass. she's not going to be able to help. Like, she's once she finally finds out exactly what just went on because she was working on a deadline, she's going to be real into it. Mm-hmm. Um, so just so... Uh, everyone with us know uh yeah characters in the second ring are more intense require more navigation to communicate with them things might be mysterious and held in secret um when you're in the third ring your your connection to the darling is actively putting people in danger um so the exact nature of the danger will depend on the leads but like you in trouble danger nature danger um Um. so and when it when a character is moved to the center, if they end up being moved to the center, they disappear entirely from the narrative and they're removed from the game. Um, they're just gone. They've gotten a bit too deep in trouble. Uh, yeah, they're, they're no longer them. able to, they, they've cut ties. Either they're dead, they're missing, or they've like cut ties. They've just been like, nope, sorry, I'm out. No more talking to you. Yikes. Um, uh, yeah. What leads did you did you two use, Bins. and what are the updates on those leads, if any? Yeah. Uh, that yeah. was not what I rolled. Yeah, that's so. what I rolled. Um, okay. So I have Ben's father. Uh, I learned that when Ben's father was given the news clippings from Beth, that they were distraught at the news of their son, like, mm. or, or like they were they had a negative sort of reaction to it all, which is yeah. the truth. <laughs> <laughs> you have established a truth because you rolled a six. You yep. got it. Uh, I rolled a two, which meant I was I needed to establish a new lead. Um, I got I got information on two things, specifically the snowfall and the burning of the gazebo. Excuse me. I think that my our new our next lead will be about the fact that the gazebo has been destroyed once before. Uh, that this was not the first time it had happened. Um, cool. Uh, and yeah, the fact that it was a, a result of vandalism of some kind possibly is going to be our new lead. Right. So Should we the make mach- the lead the, gaze- the gazebo then? Is that the yes. idea? 
the lead is the gazebo. So the machine's uh, only job uh, really at the post in post is to say cut or say the scene's over um, to move and then to move the token, uh, move the token to To the next space. So now instead of one, now it's two, now it's at two. Cool. One one thing I do think we forgot, which we can correct, is um, we didn't do that extra D6 to kind of guide what kind of scene it was, mm, mm, mm. Um, which is, it ended up turning out really well. But uh, in the future, we should definitely help shape it by saying, is it an interview? Is it research? Is it concern for safety? Because that does yeah, kind of become one. important. Right. So a research scene, so. I'm going to give that, yeah, I think that role should go to, uh, I feel like maybe the machine should do that too. Yeah, yeah. So the machine will roll a D12 and a D6 um, when cool. they're rolling. So, all right. So that was one go through. Um, the first one's always the, <laughs> the first one's always the hardest to get through, but <laughs> now we, we're going we're gonna to go. Okay. Um, so the only thing I was never able to figure out, just I'm going to be mm-hmm. straight with y'all, is the leads that the two of you ended up drawing. Yep. I'm not sure what we're supposed to do with those, to be honest with you, because you're not really supposed to tell us what it is, what they are. So I'm a little, do you know what I mean? Oh, the leads uh, that we were following up. That I think that's only if we roll the, uh, the three the or four. Five or six, you mean? No, the three or four. Oh. Because uh, that's developing information on an existing lead. You add right. facts or theories to an existing lead card. Um, I think I think what it is is that you when you have uh, that when you roll like three through six you don't have to immediately tell anybody what it is that you uh, you're you're chasing down I think mm-hmm. okay I think that's keep- what that means like you won't grab them or relocate them you you update them once the scene is over I believe right like I got I picked Vin's father as what I was going for and so while we were talking and you said something about Vin's father I was like okay got it mm-hmm. okay yeah I think that's how yeah that at works. a certain at a certain point you just do the best you can <laughs> with with, <laughs> with the with what you got yeah. okay right. so now we're at two here we're gonna rotate now so yeah. I think we'll rotate down so I think Aki you are the shadow now max you are kaya uh mm-hmm, randy mm-hmm. you're the machine and i am maya we're, we're moving counterclockwise for for the audience uh oh i'm sorry i knew the no, other no, way no. i was i think sure. i think that's perfect we're okay. moving counterclockwise and the story is moving clockwise i think that's perfect hmm. okay so oh okay so we're going to do this all over again. So okay. if you are a darling, um, actually uh, roll two dice each. That was my mistake. If there are less than three danger tokens in the center, you roll two of the light die, and or the two of the die, rather, and you take the lowest value. Um, and if you're the shadow, you roll two dark die if there are fewer than three danger tokens and choose whichever result you prefer. So two twelves and the d6. Two D why two two D twelves? Those are the dark die. Is that what? No, there's a the machine will roll the D twelve to see if there's da- how much if there's any extra danger, ah, okay, um, okay. but also to tell you which type of scene it is. Oh, I'm the um, shadow. I need to roll two D six. I got it. I I'm sorry. I yeah two D six and choose whichever result you prefer. Right, my brain so, did a silly thing here for so second. I am Max and I okay. Hmm. Okay. I take the lower one. All right. Okay, choose two leads of different types, but don't reveal them until all players are ready. Then the machine can use that info to establish the following scene. Oh, of different types. Um, Yeah. So it's either a person, a location, or an item, right? Yeah. Yeah. So basically, you and I, since we're two, what we'll each you, pick one. What What kind would you like to choose? And then I'll choose a kind that is not yours. I'm gonna choose uh, a place. Okay. Cool. I'm picking an item. 
Place in an item, all right. And do I say what I rolled on the six now? You're the shadow. No, you're the- I'm the machine. Machine, what did you roll yes. on the D12? So on the D12, I rolled a five, which is- Okay, so yeah, we're good there. No extra there. danger because <laughs> it's higher than the, yeah. the total on the clock. So yep. fine it's, there. I have a, a four on the D6. A four? Yeah, so is that- Explore location, explore which location. is hilariously perfect. Yep. So we are going to explore a location. Um, and all right. So if everyone has an, kind of knows what they're doing, we can reveal the uh, leads that we chose. And then the machine will create the scene. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, I picked the high school. Mm -hmm. And I chose... Uh, the the re audio recording of Sarah. Ooh. All right. Um, so you return to your high school, or, or do I start now? Or yeah. Okay. <laughs> do we do we need to learn who the shadow is? Yeah. I, well, I yeah, need you... to. Yeah. Do I? Do I? You're assign... going to. Ass yeah, you're going to assign. Yeah, you take character. the information that we've given you, and then you can. And you're the one that does assign. Yeah. Yeah. So. I'm going to assign the shadow and, and it doesn't have to be a person from our leads, right? Like it can be another person Correct. in that place. Cool. So I'm going to assign uh, the shadow uh, a janitor at the school. And so uh, what's what's going to happen is uh, it's, it's still lightly snowing. Um, and the outside of the school is sort of a bit older and a bit worn down more than you remember it being. Um, the there are like uh, there's a lot of wear and tear that has happened over the years. And as you get back, um, you decide both of you to go back to the school. Maybe there's something that you might have missed, uh, specifically wanting to. Uh, investigate that place. So, uh, as you approach, you see a man who is sort of cleaning, trying to scrape up some of the uh, the snow from the walkway of the school. Um, and, and it's uh, this janitor who you remember has worked there for years, was a young man when you were in high school, and now is a bit older, a bit gruffer. But uh, you, you recognize the face. Um, uh, as you approach the school to like open the doors, he sort of starts stops you, and that's where we're going going to start. Hey, you two have oh. permission to be here. Um, <laughs> we just wanted to come and you know see the old uh, stomping grounds. I don't know what it is about y'all coming back here and acting as though the entire city is just the town is just your playground. School is closed. Well, I mean, yes, we, we know that. We're not here to go to school. We're we're here to try and find something that we miss about um, our friend. Oh, yeah. Miss you have police or something like that? I can't just let any old person uh, in school unless they have, like, some kind of appointment or, like, you're here to see someone. Like, And you're going to track your muddy shoes all through the school. I just cleaned the floors. They've just been waxed. Hey, you're gonna... whoa, whoa, whoa. It's okay, we'll take our shoes off. That doesn't, that, you're Look, being pedantic at this point. We were told to come down here to By take who? a look. Um, Robert Isaac, Ben's dad? Bullshit. Robert Isaac hasn't been seen or heard from in years. Yeah, I know. Did you, did you, um, did you know Ben Isaac? Do you remember him? I mean, who doesn't remember Ben Isaac? Absolute showboat, if you ask me. Uh, I, well, I mean, he was he was our best friend. Um, and mm, we you do we look left vaguely familiar. We left town, um, you know, a, a couple years after it happened, um, but. I don't know. Uh, we we got a letter from him, um, and told us to come back here. So, 
you know, we're just trying to, it's just really weird, you know? And we thought maybe coming back here, um, we might, like, some, you know, I don't know. Nice little trip down memory lane is going to solve a decades long uh, old mystery or something like that. That's what, that's what you're thinking. You don't think that like the, the police absolutely combed this place from top to bottom several times after Ben disappeared. Like, but you, you're not going to find thinking, anything new. Maybe that we could just come and warn our friend. Maybe we could just have a moment. You can't have a moment outside. I mean, you're, it's you're cold. here. It's cold. Yeah, it is cold. Listen. Mr. Santos, I don't know if you remember me. <laughs> I'm, I'm Kaya. Kaya, darling Rossmore. I, um. You caught me name. breaking in here a couple times about. 13 years back. Kaya? Well, that might be why I don't, I'm getting weird vibes off of you. That <laughs> explains a lot. Yeah, it probably does. I'm not 16 anymore. Well, I can see that. So I'm not going to try and release a chicken into the hallways. We're here to mourn our friend. Can we take 15 minutes to walk through and try and remember him? You've got. 15 minutes, but if I catch you touching anything, I swear I'll bean you over the head with a crowbar or something. I don't know. You guys are... We get it. We're wasting your time. We're very sorry. 15 minutes. Come with. Show us around. Not interested. I got work to do. Okay. Just don't touch we will anything. We'll take our shoes off, too. Thank you. Thank oh, so, damned kids. As you guys enter the building... Uh, to, to start your investigation, you notice, uh, what, what was his name? The, the uh, janitor? Mr. Santos. Mr. Santos. Okay, Mr. Santos. You see Mr. Santos sort of eyeballing you through the windows on the sides of the school, just sort of making sure you're in. Yeah, exactly. Um, making sure you don't touch anything. Um, where do you guys go? Uh, I think we should, I feel like we should go to the, uh, the drama club, the theater. All right. Okay. Yeah. You want to go to like the auditorium kind of yeah, area? There's, there's so much you can look through, you know? Yeah. I mean, if it's a small okay. town place, then yeah, the, 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 uh, where they had the assemblies and where they had the shows were probably the same place. Yeah. It's one yeah. of those, uh, those little sloped halls. It's not very big, very bad, like upholstery on the backs of the chairs that, that like sort of open and fold down. Um, You're just describing my own high school theater. Yeah, and I it's like cool here. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it smells a little bit of dust. There's not, there. there's obviously Mr. Santos has been cleaning, but there's a distinct smell that reminds you of all the times that you guys spent uh, here. One of the things that you notice, though, as you're looking up at the red curtain that's drawn across the stage is out of the corner of one of the sides is what looks faintly like the colors of that scarf that belonged to Ben. Um, it looks like there's just something hanging out from one of the sides of the curtain. And so that catches your eye. Oh, that's weird. That's really weird. Yeah. Just, yeah. I, I mean, it, it was there, so it, it can't be here. But oh, well. well Kai, Kai, whatever. go look and see what it is. Go, go look and I see am, what it is. I'm, oh, fine. As you pull on it, it 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 actually is a really old garment that is just like a very similar stitching. <laughs> It's like a similar color to what you guys have in your bag because you do have the scarf. Oh, hey, oh, that's that's from Fiddler on the Roof. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it can't be doing Fiddler again. Oh, Look, I there's mean, nothing worse than putting that crowd through a two and a half hour show with high school. Y'all kids you. better not be touching anything. Uh, no, don't what? worry. What? We're just, hands behind our backs. We're just looking very closely. And being sad. Hey, okay, no. So, I mean, I don't know about you, but like, 
I mean, I know you were on in front of on stage and I was like just a techie, but like we used to, we used to like, you know, hide notes and stuff for each other everywhere, like backstage and stuff and up in the booth. Um, No way. You think they still do it? I bet they still do it. I mean, that's what I was wondering. Let's go fuck with some kids. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Okay. (laughs) I mean, you, uh, okay. Yeah. (laughs) Come on. Um, all right, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go up there, and there's just like small, I think, like sound audio booth mm-hmm. that is like up in the back. Yep. Um, like climbs up a little ladder and goes and like sits there, like Kaya. What places? Ooh. <laughs> I like get up on the stage and I'm like capering and 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 being a little ridiculous. Singing like, like- Kaya. Mr. Santos she, isn't going to be happy about this. She's probably. just, I know, she's just like, they're just, I mean, I think it's just like kind of washes yeah. over them, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah, it's like, it's yeah. just, you can't, almost can't help yourself and just starts like playing with things in, um, playing with things in the booth um, and then like reaches over to like this like ancient, like, cassette player that nobody uses anymore because it's you know not 1995 (laughs) um and like looks at it and just kind of like hits play and a voice a familiar voice comes out can i can i can i uh, tell us yeah Yeah, Yeah, you tell us instead of just having this old relic of another time right there i think um maya maya right um Mm. maya's up there in the booth and there's a spot in the wall that you remember hiding things in with uh okay ben. and that's where i think this is because i i, I think they would come like move it or something if it was out in no the that's room. fair that's fair i should have left that to you i apologize um no no so, i think it's great so that's what you find that's where you find yeah it. that's better anyway um so like pulls like yeah pulls it out and it's like holy shit what I, Dude, I'm this down is here. Our, what? This is our. This is our. What do you call it? The, the, the tape recorder, like the little recorder, like like reporters have. This is oh ours. God. Don't you remember? Yeah, like the one, one that, with the little. Sorry, you cut out, Max. I did not hear that. Oh, like the one with the little microphone on it. Yeah, yeah, like. It was like, you know, we thought we were so clever. Next gen note passing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is it. It's right here. God, I thought you got rid of that thing. Do you no. click play? Yes, I click play. The very first sound is, is it sort of turning as the loud click happens. It's a white noise that sort of fills your ears and just kind of is eerie for some reason. Yeah. Before switching very quickly to what voice? Kaya. Kaya, you want to know something? Want to want to know a secret? Mm-hmm. I think you're the cutest girl in the entire school. Shh, don't tell anyone. This is sort of embarrassing. Um, I was thinking the other day while we were in history class how nice it would be to hold your hand. But of course, I don't know if other people would be okay with that. I don't even know if you're okay with that. <sighs> Maybe someday I'll get brave enough to actually tell you I think you're cute. But for now, I guess I'm just going to watch you from up here in the sound booth while you're down there singing. You have a beautiful voice. Has anybody told you that? Well, I mean, obviously, you know, you got the lead of the play. But even so, I love your voice. I like you a lot. Okay, I'm going to stop because it's starting to get silly. You're very cute. Oh, Bye. So not ours then. Oh, um, wow. Um, can you... Um, <laughs> can you give me that? I, well, did you not... Did you not know? Did you not know that Sarah had a thing for you in, in high school? No, I, d- I mean, I, 
I guess if I think about it now, it sort of makes sense. But I know I, I was a kid. I, I mean, I knew. Well, why didn't you tell me? I, I don't interfere in the love affairs of others. I, that, I'm just saying that doesn't sound like me, does it? No, I have obviously, met. We have the same face. I know. <sighs> you just live and let live. But <sighs> so what? For twelve years, I've just walked around, and Sarah Carlin has had it for me, and I never but, did like, anything about it. Oh, well, I mean, would you? Have you got two wanted? minutes. That old man. I mean, she's she was she was like just the sweetest thing, you know. Like I don't, I don't. Unfortunately, I don't really see how this helps us. Um, I thought it was ours, and and maybe that Ben would have been on it. Well, um, it's definitely mine now. Give me it. <laughs> fine. Gosh. Um. So I can't. Uh, I think I. I've, I got what I needed. Yeah. Well. I was supposed to develop information on an existing lead. So I guess by so, finding it and knowing what it says, I guess that counts, right? Or yeah, yeah, I think that would count. If there is something that you want to add to that, we can play the tape further yeah. and have another message. Played. Yeah, I would like to hear one more message. Yeah, Either and this time I'll, 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 why don't you have the narrative control of whose voice that is on it? That way. <clears throat> I mean, I think it's Ben's. Yeah. I think it's Ben's voice. Yeah. So yeah, keep playing the tape. And after a few minutes, the sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow. Oh, that's a role I'm never going to get to play. <laughs> Though it'd be kind of cool. Is it? Is it weird that I, I really enjoy like, I sometimes a little bit jealous of Kaya because she gets to play all the roles and sing all the songs that I would absolutely kill to play or sing. Why is it that the women always get the best songs mm. in all the musicals? Mm. Like that's <laughs> just, it's just not fair. And I try not to be bitter about it, but I don't know. Nobody would be cool with it if I tried to go out for one of the women's parts. But if Kaya went out for like one of my parts, everybody would talk about how progressive and cool she is. I don't know. I uh, I think things are starting to get weird with us. Like I've noticed Sarah making eyes at Kaya and like, I don't know. I always figured, I don't know doesn't seem like it's likely to happen now it hasn't happened yet so of course you know that's maybe my own fault i could have said something sooner and it's not like maya isn't great maya is great but maya is maya is not kaya ah, that sounds really awful because maya is really amazing but i i mean can we turn it off <laughs> yeah you're the one with it so Please turn it oh, off. Oh, Is right. I'm everything sorry. I thought... on this tape just about people wanting to fuck me and stuff? Was that like the thing you all did? <laughs> I... Yes, yes, Kaya. I taught ew. <laughs> I'm just saying I'm batting two for two, which. Well, congratulations, I guess. No, I guess I'm not going to lie. It doesn't 12 year so ago, cool, you, but... Kaya. Like, come on. Like, I. I don't know, like, I, why are they on the same tape? Were they, like, talking to each other? Did I, they, like, know each other? Like, I mean, they, I mean, I know they knew each other, but did they, like, know each other? Why else would they leave messages on the same tape? Yeah, I don't know. All right, Sarah I got what I needed. Yeah. All, All right, right, you guys yeah. gotta get out of here right now. Don't, why are you up on that stage? Get get the hell nah, out of here! Nah, 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 and, nah, nah, nah. And Maya runs. She just like, <laughs> like she still feels like she's yeah. sixty. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where, I, I just want to know. Sorry. 
Where do I run to? Yeah, like how do you try to get away from, from Mr. Santos? I just want to. Who's got like, oh, you know, I mean, one of those big like block room type things. Is like, push broom. Yeah. The, yeah. The push Maya, is kind Maya, of Maya runs four miles every morning, except for Sundays. Thank you very much. Oh. So she books it. <laughs> okay. Uh, Kaya does not and is doing her level best to keep up with Maya. <laughs> got it. Okay. And Mr. Mr. Santos, what is what does Mr. Santos do as they're running uh, away? You know, from just him? like you can't stay out of here if you broke anything. I'll make sure the school sues you. Ah, and kind of like you know, making a big <laughs> big noise. As soon as this this the kids are kind of cleared cleared out like mm -hmm. Santos kind of puts the push broom down and <sighs> never gets old and then kind of like I, I want you to know he's just sort of uh I think as, as he goes back to his work and, and and thinks these kids are gone gone um I I kind of want him to be just sort of humming very in this like it's not very discreet I I imagine like if the scene is fading away it just kind of sounds like he's, like he's just kind like you can't really tell what he's saying. It's almost reminiscent a little bit of some white noise. And that's what we'll end the scene. <laughs> Cut. Cool. All right. All right so, uh, uh, darlings, you add select things you learned on the leads. Uh, obviously, uh, add Sarah for the audio of Sarah that uh, she had a crush on Kaya uh, back in high school. Yep. And that Ben and Sarah had some sort of relationship that was strong enough that they left messages on the same audio recorder. Right. That was my that, that was my like kind of developed a lead is is yep. learning that piece of information that the two of them knew each other well enough to leave kind of diary confessionals for each other uh, in the sound booth. Yep. Um, so that was us. We'll, and then we alter our working theory. I forgot to make a theory at the beginning, so I'll make a new one. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then Shadow, friend, um, gets to decide where... Uh, well, that's the thing. Do you decide the? it's the janitor, right? Where the janitor moves. Uh, but the janitor isn't technically a lead. The Shadow doesn't have to play leads, right? Or do we have to make them in lead now? Um, well... Oh, it's move the card of the character you portrayed. Oh, so, so then they become a lead. Guess, they yeah, portrayed so more than one character, oh, Mr. but Santos. Mr. Santos was the first one, and it, yeah, yep. he was very clearly not friendly. Yeah, so right. he was he was a threat. Yeah, okay. Ah, he was a threat. So did he become more of a threat? You think, or did he come back around to like? I think he's more bluster than anything else. It's more like you guys interrupted his his work, and you know he wasn't in a, the best mood didn't really want to accommodate you but otherwise i don't think he gives that much of a shit about you unless you come around again so i, I don't think there's any forward movement well it, i think it move has him. to move okay uh, i think we can move him to, to move. suspect i think maybe? Su suspect or yeah. is possibly fine okay so janitor is a suspect now in in the first i don't ring. trust that mr santos he was very okay. adamant about keeping you out of the school for whatever mm -hmm. reason. Yeah, so. he's trying to sure. hide something. And gave you a time limit on how long you could be there. Very yeah. rude. So that moves us to three. Um, and, and just a reminder, the machine doesn't do anything at post game or like. No, you would just move the. You you say cut and then you move the the token to the next hour. Okay. So what? now we're at, now we're at three, um, which you know. The higher the number goes, the more opportunities rolling that D12 uh, gets to put people danger. in danger. Right. So we're going to rotate again. So we've got Aki uh, as Maya, uh, Max as the Shadow, uh, cool. Randy as uh, Kaya, and uh, I'm going to be the machine. So roll those dice. Two dice for all of you. The darlings pick the lowest number that you roll, the shadow can choose. Well, I rolled the same number on both, so. Well, Fine. there it is then, huh? Where's my D where's my D12? Where is it? Uh, rolled. Oh, we're safe again. No specific danger. It's a nine. Oh. And 
let's see. I'm gonna also roll for what the scene is about. And we're gonna do, where's what I need? <coughs> we're gonna do, oh, <coughs> it's the same thing. We're gonna do another explore location. I can re-roll, but like that, I rolled a four. So yeah. um, I rolled an explore location. So the darlings uh, also kind of, uh, you have each picked a, a lead. So when you are ready, tell me what those leads are. Um, I have picked a location. Okay. Okay. And then I will pick uh, people. Uh, who am I going to play here? I think we have well, to tell you what location I need to know it is. The, yeah. yeah, I need oh, to right. know what the leads are. Uh, my, my location is going to be the bridge. And I picked Donovan. The oh. understudy. Donovan the understudy. Oh, I can play Donovan the understudy if, if you need to. Yeah, so you can either play him or, it, like, I, I need to try to do something with him. Right, you need to learn about him. So, uh, I'm going to say that the two of you, um, the Darling Ross Moors, are essentially just on an initial tour right now of all the places that, you know, scream Ben to them. So they trudge over uh, to the bridge, um, which honestly is not particularly impressive in any way. Um, it is made of stone um, and it goes over um, just like a tiny, like trickle of water. You know, you'd barely even call it a stream. Um, but it's a crick. Yeah, it's a crick. Goes over the crick. Um, you know, just in case you don't want to get those feet wet, but really otherwise doesn't serve a huge purpose. Um, so it's uh, it's still snowing. Um, every, the ground is really like muddy and mucky um, enough that uh, kind of maybe every sixth step or so, you're kind of getting your feet stuck. Um, in some of that muck, it's it's really not not pleasant. Um, but you have asked, uh, you've discovered that Donovan is actually uh, is a is like a beat cop in town. Mm -hmm. He's become he's become you know like he probably could have been promoted uh, by now off of like routine patrol, but uh, he um I think he drinks a little too much for it. Uh, they keep him on the squad uh, because his uh, because his father was the chief before he retired. Um, but honestly, he's just huh? Good yeah, old yeah, nepotism. A little nepotism. nepotism, but he's honestly kind of a disappointment. Um, so you uh, run into him accidentally while he is walking his beat, which just happens to take him by this bridge. Uh, so. Boom! Begin! Oh my gosh, Maya. What? Is is that who I think it is? There's... I mean, That's, I get... Is that Donovan? He kind of has that same moppy hair that I remember just kind of... Say something? Beer belly to go with it. Yeah. Um... Excuse me, sir. Why are you calling him sir? Remember, he's yeah, a well, police officer. I don't deserve Can I help that you? much respect. Uh, yeah. Uh, you wouldn't happen to be. Come here, come here. Uh, I can't hear a word you're saying. Walks over with a little bit of confidence. <laughs> um, hello. Uh, I. I'm, I've just gotten back in town with my sister here, Maya. Oh, and you oh look like one of our classmates, and I, I just wanted to... Are you the Darling Rossmore twins? <laughs> you do remember us! It is him! Oh my god. You look like exactly the same. Not like as each other, obviously, but like <laughs> as you used to. You haven't... <gasps> oh. You know, you have the same you, hair. You, you have. 
I mean, you've changed a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah. But nice duds, you know. Uh it's it's it looks like you're doing great you're things around okay town. For yourself. Yeah. What are you doing? It's hanging? okay, you know, it's union work. You get a pension after twenty and uh got enough to buy a house, so hard to complain. What are you doing around these parts? Yeah. I was gonna ask you the same thing. <laughs> we we just used to hang out here with our friend you know you know Ben. Um yeah, oh yeah. and we we're just trying to we just came back to town and are looking for ways to honor his memory and, and maybe find out something, right? And his motorcycle was last seen here. You know, we thought we'd come back and try and get an idea of what happened. Did, is it just me or does this place seem smaller somehow? <laughs> yeah. Well, everything seems smaller these days. You know, Kaya just looks over at Maya, like looking at his stomach. <laughs> uh, it's not really. Wise to try and pick up on an open police investigation. I mean, it's a cold case, obviously, but it's still open. Yeah. Well, nobody closed it. We were told that there wasn't any more, like, no investigation was... going on around it. Who told you that? Um, you know, uh, just a, a, a journalist that we know. That's all. There are four real journalists in this town. I'm pretty sure I can figure out who it was. Is there some kind of problem? Yeah. I mean, we're, we just want to find out what happened to our friend. Yeah. I know. I'd love to find out what happened to Ben, too. What can you tell us about the bridge? Like, is there anything particularly special about... I mean, what would it take for a motorcycle to, like, end up here? Well, if the snow was anything like the day, it would be pushing it by hand after a certain point. Oh. There's no way you drive that thing safely through all this. Uh, the machine is going to uh, kind of cut it a little bit and, and remind that that bridge uh was was a very badly kept secret of a place to go when you know some unshade some kind of shady meeting of some kind needed to go down whatever that meant whether it was an illicit fling or an exchange of goods that was the place to go hmm. and you all know that maybe maya doesn't but kaya kaya definitely does <laughs> oh poor uncle maya definitely um. do uh, maybe Maya does, you guys. Tech, you don't know. <laughs> tech kids can get freaky. I, I would say tech kids are even freakier than the ones on stage. Like, let's be yeah, real. They can be. They can be. Uh, but yes. Uh, uh, what what was done with the motorcycle after it was found? I mean, it went to impound. We ran prints. Not a lot else to do, you know. Was it ever reclaimed? I mean, like, did mm. his parents take it back or anything like that? Yeah, we did. We gave it to... I think we gave it to his mom. I can't remember who came and picked it up. I mean, I was a kid, you know. I, I'm going back and reading all these files. Most of this stuff is, you know, ancient history. I was... Have you ever stopped I was looking just a for kid. Yeah, you... You were his understudy once. Like, the two of you were pretty close there for a little while. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh, Are you seriously my, kidding me? My... Do you think anyone was really close with Ben Isaac? We were. I think he had, we like, were. real friends. Yeah. Yeah, he we, did. We, 
we, we grew up together. Like, we knew everything about each other. Like, well, not everything. Look, we did everything we could. Ben's gone. I don't know how to help you. I got my thing, by the way. Yeah, me too. I just leave it be. Oh. And, um, Officer Donovan, uh, Chambers, uh, needs to get back on his beat. Yeah. So, bid you uh, adieu and a scene. Yeah. All right. So, definitely we- suspect this guy to me. <laughs> I just wanted to this say This dude is sus. <laughs> he is suspicious. I saw Red use the vents. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so. I am going to move Donovan from suspect to threat. Mm. Mm-hmm. Also, um. for my uh, established add a fact or theory to an existing part, this this is maybe just a theory, but it's that he knows something secret about Ben that we don't. Okay. Yep. Uh, and I'm adding to the bridge. Uh, because it was a place that people went to in, in order to do shady shit, uh, there had to have been a reason why Ben ended up out here too. Mm-hmm. Who was he meeting and why? Mm. Okay. All right. Well, also, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome oh, to the hello. Raiders. Oh, hello. hello, all you. We're attempting to unravel years. a mystery. We are indeed. Um, so, all right, we are going to rotate one more time before we come all the way back around to the beginning. Where is my pencil? Um, one second. And I, as the uh, the darlings have to choose the lower. Is that right? Uh, yes. I am the machine now. So, Aki is the machine, Max is Maya, Randy is the shadow, and the I shadow. am Kaya. So, I'm going to roll some dice. Don't you love it when there are identical twins and one of them still manages to get more attention than the other? <laughs> uh, it's it's gross. But, it, like, listening to, to the last scene, I was just like, oh my gosh, it would suck sometimes. <laughs> mm. It made right. me so sad. I want Maya to be the cool one that like solves the the mystery. Like I'm I'm hardcore team Maya. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm seeing what what should I what am I gonna pick? We'll make I'm gonna pick... And I roll one as the shadow since there's less than three, right? Yes. No. 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 Since there is less than three, you roll two, and you oh, pick okay. which one you prefer. Got it. Yeah. Machine, oh, what okay. was your D12 result? Uh, an eight. We are still safe. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> We're, like, so good at this. We're not in danger just yet. Not gonna uh, and then yet. for the scene we're going to be doing, I rolled a two. So that is, uh, I believe conduct it's research. Interview. Conduct, it's, it's conduct interview. Oh, conduct interview. Interesting. So, you, I guess... I'm gonna roll again just because I I showed because I forgot that the shadow doesn't need to show. Yeah, so. you don't need to show. You just roll two and you pick whichever one. Right. You need that was me being so, just wrong. <laughs> Maximilian. Yeah. Uh, what kind of thing are you picking? Um, I was thinking of picking a, a location. Okay, I I'm going to pick a thing then. My question here, before we get started, like, I don't think just to put it out there, I don't think it says anything in the rules that the scene that is set by the machine needs to involve necessarily the leads that we pick. Yeah, I don't think so necessarily either, because like, we're about to conduct an interview and you've both chosen a location and an item. Uh, So that kind of leaves the person that you're going to possibly interview up to me. Right, so um, then you'd bring so, we could we'd, we'd have to figure out a way to like bring bring your in. leads right. leads in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but also like, I like 
one thing I like about the interview one is it doesn't have to be the darlings interviewing someone. It can be, right. be the shadow interview interviewed. The darlings. Oh. Yeah. The darlings could be the ones under the mark microscope here. All right. Uh, so what item and what location are you are you choosing? So I picked the letter. Okay. And I picked the skating pond. Skating pond. Okay. Um, I am going to say that after wandering around the town for a little while, you've gone to the, the, the Gazette, you've gone to the school, um, and you have gone uh, to the bridge. And the, bri the, the creek that uh, flows from the bridge is actually what feeds the skating pond, which is what makes it such a good pond for ice skating when it gets cold enough, because like it's a fairly steady stream of water, but it's not like... A, a, a fast moving stream so the the, the stiller water freezes faster in, in the long run uh, and and holds its a uh, its frozen state for longer uh, it's may the the ice skating pond is not frozen even though it's snowing uh it's not quite that cold um uh, and hasn't been cold for a sustained period of time so when you guys arrive at the creek after having walked uh from the bridge um, it is still just a pond um there are uh, a bunch of kids that are hanging out by the pond. Um, several of them seem to be doing things like trying to catch frogs or skip rocks. Like they're all dressed in winter clothing, but doing summer like activities by the pond um, because it's not frozen, but it's it's snowing. Um, so it's kind of like this sort of weird juxtaposition of activity versus environment. Um, and uh, they all seem to be having a good time. You know, it's a, uh, it's nearly summer vacation. Uh, so uh, quite a few of them are, you know, already starting to show the signs of like a summer tan, having spent uh, a lot of time outside. Um, and, uh, there's one kid in particular, uh, who is kneeling next to the pond, like kind of with his knees pulled up to his chin and his arms wrapped around his legs. And he's got like a long stick in one hand and he's just kind of poking, at the silt and mud, like at the very edge of the pond and kind of stirring up the water a little bit um, in order to like, you don't know exactly what he's doing, but he's just kind of poking around. Um, okay. Um, who who hey, is the shadow playing? Sorry. Uh, the kid. The kid. Yeah. Hey, hey, uh, hey kid. Hey, uh, you hey. With, the, with the stick. Uh, yeah. Hi, um, I, uh, sorry, I know this is kind of weird, but, um, what are you, what are you doing? Did you find something? Uh, no, I'm, um, I, I'm, I, I just, I, I come out here to, 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 to think, um, mm. and, and, oh, no, I get it. I get it. I, yeah. Um, I, I was just asking if maybe you yes. saw someone come through here. Uh, like while you guys were playing, there's lots of k kids from my school here. Uh, uh, no, I meant a grown up, like maybe someone who is more uh, like like me. Uh, hey, it's okay. Don't listen to my sister. She's just hey. on a, she's on a thing. Uh, uh, you you hang out with these kids a bunch? Uh, no, actually, I, I I came out here earlier today. To, to 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 sort of be alone and um they 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 were all um taking up most of the space so i just sat over here and started doing what i do which is poking the ground here um, yeah oh well that's why i was asking though because i saw you do that and when i used to go and you know dig around and and I sometimes find weird things. I liked finding the weird things. <laughs> um, I, I, I don't uh, come out here to find stuff very often, but um, th there was uh, a few a few days ago um, something that I found, uh, like around the lake. It, it was uh, oh, cool. Yeah. Um, it was fine. Uh, and uh, I think he pulls out something. Does the, the yeah, machine? Yeah. So, yeah. so um, 
the, the kid pulls a couple of things out of his pocket, obviously stuff that's sort of like he's dug up from the silt of, of the pond. Um, and there are just a couple of random things. They're like, you know, uh, like uh, empty bullet casings and like uh, the occasional like, like hunting, hunting, like case, like casings mm. for bullets for hunting. Mm. Um, and like, you know, the like really nice round, smooth to- stone, um, a couple of those like flat marbles that you use for rune stones. Um, but most uh, distinct among all of them is it, it started to like kind of look a little bit worn down and rubbed out because it's been underwater for God knows how long, but there is the flash of, of white gold and like a blue gemstone and like some, the, the band looks like it's been etched into and it's got like kind of that wide thick band and you recognize it as like a high school one of the high school class rings. Um, and it looks oh, familiar. Um, that's hey. awesome. C- can I check that out? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, you, you can look at it. But I'll totally give it back. back. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm going to sit down next to the kid and, and just kind of like, you know, like chill uh, and start taking a look at, at, at the ring. Um, the ring... Yeah. Uh, you can only just barely make out the school year on the side as being uh, class of 1995, um, which would have been the year that you two were seniors. Um, And then on the other side, um, there appears to be like, like it's a little bit more rubbed out. It's a little bit more difficult to see, but like you you think you see... uh, the symbol of the comedy and tragedy masks on the other side, um, but they're a little bit harder to make out. Um, and then you you get the impression as you're looking on the inner band of the ring that there might have been an inscription there at some point, but it's so, uh, like, the, 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 the ring was sitting in the water in the mud for so long that, like, there's almost nothing left of that, um, just kind of random scratches and lines at this point, not really a name of any kind, but whoever it was, they were a senior in 1995 and they were likely a part of the drama club. And I, I think Kai like kind of looks at it and just, she just hears this just roaring, just start in her ears, just this like loud, like she's having some sort of like some issues just like the roaring sound in your ears when you get really stressed out and freaked out and stuff and just drowns out all of the other noises around her like has no idea if anybody is talking to her she just hears the like no, the, like white noise in her ears looking at it yeah. oh shit what uh, um, you okay yeah um that is mine. No, I found it. it no, um, no, I mean, it, it. Are you serious? Um, yeah, I'm serious. That's my, that's, that's my, that's my class ring. Um, come on, that's what you would give it back. We, uh, I, I, I shared it with you because you said, you what, if I, what if I, what if I give you 20 bucks? 20 bucks? I can do better than 20 bucks. We'll get 40. 40 sounds good. You can yeah. do, you can, you can buy like a decent Walkman with 40. Or okay. even start saving up for your first, you know, iPod. Yeah. Okay. It's 2007, yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah. 40 uh, bucks. Right. Thanks. 40 sounds good. Um, all right. Here you go, kid. Of it. Hey, just a quick question, kid. Yeah. Um, I like you. Thanks. I like you too. You're cool. Where did you find it? I mean, I know obviously in the pond, but can you yeah. show us where? Oh, yeah. Um, over here, and yeah. uh, sort of yeah. leads you over there. You, yeah. So you follow the kid um, along the edge of the pond until you get to where the crick sort of feeds it. Um, and there's kind of like, there's a lot of like 
brush in that area, like lots of water weeds and things like that, that kind of grow in that area. And like, you can tell this is a place where like, they th like, you know, that this is an area they often bring the elementary school kids so that they can find tadpoles for their like the science experiments and stuff like that. Like, you know, the cycle of life experiments that they do. So like, this is prime frog territory, like all of these like <laughs> bull rushes and stuff like that. Um, and like, just that, like kind of choking the mouth of the pond. Um, it kind of just points into that area. I, I will say I've gotten what I need. I don't know about you, Max. Um, yeah, I've gotten what I need as well. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I'm good. Once he he leads you over there, he kind of you know, uh, kind of nods and then is like, and then you know, waves his stick and like heads back to where he was poking around in the sand um, to think. And the two of you are kind of left holding this class ring in your hand. Um, and uh, that's where we, are, where we are going to cut the scene. Can I ask one thing? Sure. As they, as they leave, I want, I want the, the poking to be, usually it would look like poking, but as they get up, I want them to see something in that, what was him moving his stick around. I just think it's- Oh, creepy. some, some, like, like uh, when you, when you, uh, oh, so when you, when he's poking around, uh, you suddenly see him jab into the water really hard um, and uh, kind of swear underneath his breath like he was trying to s stick something with the stick and missed. Mm -hmm. um, but you're not quite sure what it was. <laughs> I just think that's creepy. <laughs> creepy kids all day. Cool. So we've we've yeah. we've run through it once in the sense that like everyone's had a chance to play a person once. So we've moved to uh, five on the clock. Um, I would love if we could do one more and maybe and get to six and mm -hmm. then kind of leave it there and um, and we'll go into next week as we roll downhill faster and faster to a very exciting conclusion of some kind. Uh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, have to, so, I have to just reiterate really fast that this is a really cool game and I'm really enjoying this. This see, is the thing about it, I was worried because it's so like top heavy in the sense that like you have to ingest a lot of information before you can actually get started. Um, and like dialect a little bit, it is a, it can be a lot to keep track of, like just like lots of little pieces to kind of fit together. Um, but yeah, I feel like this is a game that would play really nicely if you had like a cork board and some thread. Oh man, you know oh, what yeah. I mean? Where you're just like boop, 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 and like all in a room together, like owning your space. I know what I I'm love doing to play for, this in person. For, I, I know what we're doing. I know what we're doing next time. Randy is down in Los Angeles. Oh yeah, got it. Yeah, uh, I, yeah I would. This playing this oh, in person would be would fun be because excellent. when you buy it. when you buy it, they give you the rule book, but they also give you a printable play mat that's like enormous. Oh. So you can like you can like you know tape it together yourself right, you and like, then just like stand and like this drop. is a yeah. corner of it yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you just like stand and drop your dice onto it it's great so, yeah we could totally um, red red string yeah. theory of this shit okay oh my gosh yeah. Yeah. okay i am playing so, kaya um, again correct wait, wait, you are playing before kaya we do, oh, before oh, yeah. we do, yes. yeah, yeah, have huh? a lot of post game oh right 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 right, right. Oh, yes post game stuff. stuff so my thing was to establish a new lead um which uh i did by the ring discovery and also the fact that it was Kaya's um, Kaya's class ring um, uh, in an exciting turn of events I also had to create a new lead which is also the ring uh, so we are we are right. the same we were, mind. Yeah, we were twin brain this kid is going uh, was because I have to apparently make the kid a lead now <laughs> of some kind, right? Oh, right. Uh, yeah. is well, he's an, a character on the board, so where did he yeah. start? He started as an ally. Like, he, I mean, like, maybe a reluctant ally at first, just because he don't know you guys and you guys strangers. But, yeah. um... Uh, one thing I want to do before, uh, before we go any further is I want to remind chat that we have a giveaway happening, I believe. Uh, mm -hmm. unless oh, yeah. I'm mistaken. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, there is a giveaway happening in chat for uh, a set of dice from Die Hard Dice. <laughs> um, uh, if that is not the case, uh, the director will let me know. Uh, but if you are a follower of the channel, you can raffle for up to 10 tickets. So you use exclamation point raffle and then 10. 
um, and that like, up to 10, and that will give you 10 tickets in the raffle for these dice. If you are a sub, you can get up to 30 tickets. So consider supporting the channel before entering the raffle because you have a better chance of winning. So if you want a pair of Die Hard dice as part of our Pride giveaway, then go ahead and hit exclamation point or raffle in chat, uh, any number between one and 10, or if you're a sub, one through 30. Quick question, how many do you get if you're a Dom? Uh, how many do you get if you're a Dom? <laughs> that, that, I think, is infinite number. <laughs> you guys, I don't know not if you guys hear. could hear that. But... Yeah, you can hear that, but Dom has told us very firmly to move on. I have on. sternly been X-carded. <laughs> we've, been, we've been very sternly X-carded. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, Aki... Uh, is Kaya, Max is the back being the machine, uh, Randy is Maya, and I am going to oh, be the shadow. Oh, thank you for the raid, level one geek. Oh, thank Ooh, you. Thank you. Welcome to our mystery show. <laughs> we have a raffle. We're going we should on do a it. mystery so, tour. Join us. <laughs> um, all right. Okay. So I am, you okay. said Maya this time? Yes, I'm Kaya. We're back to the first, yeah. the way we were situated the first round. All right. More reserved twin. <laughs> um, FYI team, uh, we are doing research. Oh, I did uh, not roll. Let me let me actually is, roll is what's my happening. Thing, guys. We have not added any danger. Amanda, I have a quick question yeah. while we have a, a brief moment. I feel like there must be another way to add danger tokens. Yeah, yeah I mean that... and have I I feel like I've missed something. Is it maybe when people get all the way in and disappear that so they one, add one danger of it to is us? um when you roll dice, you have the if your dice goes into the middle of the board, you have a chance to roll double, like to roll again, which mm. can lead to more uh, of those things. So without that aspect uh, of the game, I think that's what we're missing. Interesting. I, that's at least one additional way that I, I remember from reading. That it, yeah, I mean that here's here's the thing is like I knew that it was going to be a little bit of a challenge to adapt it here I wanted to give it a go um so I think that as we get to the end of like the okay. first playthrough right we we kind of can see where there might be a hole or two which I would love for us to you know we'll come figure out a way to plug for the second round you I know? think uh <laughs> one of the things that we can do uh sorry I interrupted you go ahead oh it's just that um to figure out a way for that but also to figure out a way where um maybe the round the six the number six which is the um sorry the <clears throat> concern for safety comes into play more i mean it will you know as the numbers get higher because you, you're more likely to roll under it obviously but yeah i think there is something to be said about an additional way mm -hmm. i have an idea uh, yes yes those of us that are able to should all print out the board and actually roll our dice on them and then like you know on our system mm -hmm. tell you like the facilitator where where the dice landed if we're playing mm -hmm. the, okay if we're if we're playing the um the the machine i tried and you saw that really big thing that i printed uh which is just big as shit yeah it, it it wouldn't let me like it wasn't printing the whole thing so maybe i need another file no it doesn't that's the thing you, you're i think you're supposed to tape it together no but that's what i'm saying i didn't get the other pieces like oh. i got one piece of it so we can talk about that later but yes all right yeah, yeah. something to think about for next though, week but... I just yeah, I like being able to like, you know, we're workshopping this in a sense too. We're trying to yeah, figure out. We're showing you like, all how you can play this on in a digital sense uh, as well. Um, yeah. But it's Thank kind you. of impossible to think of all of the all of the, oh, no, no, no. the and contingencies, that's, and that's why. Also, that's if you okay. guys have have ideas, ideas, you can hit us up on uh, on, Twitter on Twitter and let us know because we always love. Because round two is yeah. next week. Yep. <laughs> we gotta <laughs> up them stakes. Team problem solving. That's the oh, we could sketch it. That is such a smart thing. Why am I not thinking that through? That's the way these things work, though, when you're doing mysteries <laughs> like this. It's always a slow burn where it starts, and you've got to meet the people and the places and get a little bit of the mystery going. And then in the second half, it's like, boom, 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 boom. You're guilty. Yeah. <laughs> um. All right, well, All right. let's get this last round. Let's get this last okay. round in um, and let's get to six o'clock. Yep. Um, uh, because I have to bring a character in that I've been waiting to bring in all night. Amanda, hmm? you're playing the Lumberjack. Oh, God. <laughs> Here we go. Well, I'm choosing an item. Why? 
Because I want to torture you. I also want you to know that, uh, yeah, I have my place. Yeah, I want an item. Uh, I'm going to do the frying pan. Movie theater? Yes, perfect. Combo. <laughs> <laughs> that makes perfect sense. No, please. This, this is we're getting fun. into guys, Twin Peaks territory with this. this is the what was the item again? Sure. What was the item again? Sorry, oh, the frying pan. The, fucking, the cast iron pan that used to belong to Ben's mom. It, <laughs> I, love it. I love to hear it. I love it. The lumberjack movies and the frying pan. Just gonna awesome. make weird versions until this makes sense to me. Okay. What more could I ask for? Uh, all I really right. couldn't tell you. Just give Max the weirdest set of prompts. And, and you're doing research, so... <laughs> At the movie theater. Well, we could be anywhere. We don't know. Yeah, yeah, this right. is gonna... I don't think we're gonna put this in the movie theater. I think we're gonna do this in regards to the movie theater. Um, all right. You were at the bridge. And you were at the pond. And now you're gonna work your way back. Together, slowly, Kaya and I are like, all right, we got to figure out what Ben's last day was, essentially, right? Um, and so they start working their way back. They're like, all right, Pond is beyond the bridge. Let's work our way back to the bridge. That's where the bike was. And they start moving their way kind of through the, you know, the classic path that one would take to get, you know, from town, from school where Ben was last seen to, well, and then the gazebo, obviously with the fire to the bridge. Um, and as they're going, part of that is working their way through a kind of sh like shady woodsy spot that has like a kind of dirt path that's the shortest path to town there's obviously a better paved way to go there's the roads but the roads wind and if you're really trying to cut a straight shot as a young kid would you would go through the woods so they're like maybe we'll maybe we'll go this way we'll see um so as you're walking through the woods which you know it's midday it's not like dark or anything like that but it's pretty quiet and it's pretty lonely and the snowfall is crunchy under your feet. You start, you know, you hear the crunch, crunch, crunch of your own feet, but you start to hear a crunch, 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 crunch <laughs> of another footfall fairly close by and keeping in time with you. Um, Kaya? Uh, yeah, I, I hear it. Um, who's out there? Who's out there? You, we asked you first. Yeah. Is that supposed to mean something to me? Um, yes. I have Try a cell it. phone. I have the cops on speed dial. And there's two of us. All right. Well, then I hope you are planning to tell one of the officers what you're doing trespassing. We're what? Trespassing. This is a woods. Why? How are we trespassing? That are on my land. This is your land. This particular piece of it. Yeah. Not like there are any markers around or anything telling us it's your land. How could we have known? Well, yeah, I I'm mean, well, I mean, is there a sign in front of your house that says whatever your name is lives here? Well, technically, yes. It's on the mailbox, and there's also a fence. And and if if there were signs, maybe you wouldn't have people like us wandering through here. Uh, I, 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 I'm i sorry. I think we've gotten off on the wrong foot. We, we didn't mean to trespass. We're just trying to get back to town. Well, I'm yeah. not yelling at you either. I'm just letting you know that the reason I'm behind you is because I'm walking out here to cut this tree down. And you just happen to be going in the same direction. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, we thought we were being followed. It's been a weird day. It's kind of creepy. I mean, you were being followed, just not with intention. Right. Understood. Can followed. I ask what you're doing on my land? Like I said, we're just cutting through to get back to town. We were just taking a shortcut. Like yeah, I said, we, we, 
we used to walk through here all the time. Um, used to be no one lived here. Oh, you're well, new. No. We haven't we haven't been here for a while. No, someone lived here. My uh, my wife was just a, a lot more lackadaisical about trespassers. I mean, I think a lot of us, when we were younger, would cut through here to get back to town all the time. The, the roads are kind of long. Um, oh, I'm aware. I'd be surprised if all the kids still cut through here to get to the pond. It's like the fastest way. Well, I can't catch all of them, can I? Caught and you, though. As you're chatting, this kind of incredibly old dog, you know, kind of big, like, loping dog, Dumbo of a dog, but crazy gray, kind of like runs through the snow, having a great time, and like comes up to the lumberjack and like kind of gives him a wag, and then looks to the two of you and gets really excited and starts running circles around you. And both of you recognize this dog. It's way older than it used to be, but. Oh, buddy. Hi, buddy. buddy. Hi. Oh, my That's goodness. So Look at you. You've gotten... Those are good boy. So oh, my goodness. You've gotten old. You've gotten old, baby. Uh, I mean, so have you. Uh, sorry. You older. Oh, I just assumed. You're, everybody gets older. Am I supposed to recognize you? I, I mean... Not, Maybe I don't. Yeah. I mean, we're the we're the darling Rossmore twins. Don't know. Okay, if that rings a bell. I mean, what do you want? Like I said, we're just trying to get to the town. We have no interest in 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 disturbing your land, disturbing or you. We're we're just we were we were down by the pond because we were we were trying to get a few answers about something. Okay. Okay. I I. There's no animosity here. I'm just, I've had a long day. I'm tired. I have to cut this tree down. And then there are some strangers in my business. What are you, what are you looking for? What is? I don't suppose you remember anything about the disappearance of, of, of Ben Isaac. We, we used to be best friends with him. Yeah. We, we worked, we all worked down by the movie theater on the edge of this forest. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yep. 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 I know. I know what you're. I know who you're talking about. Yeah, we um, we were just trying to get from the pond to the movie theater. This was the fastest way. You know, that kid was trouble. Trouble? What do you mean? Yeah. He was like one of the nicest guys I know. And oh, I don't know anything about his personality. I'm saying he was trouble. Just, but, I don't know anybody who cut through here and trespassed on my land more than Ben Isaac. Well, All hours of the night, too. Come out here one, two in the morning because wife heard something. Turned out to be Ben Isaac. What, did you ever, like, actually see him? Like, what, yeah. what was he doing? Um... Not really interested in what he was doing or why he was there. Just the fact that he needed to get off my land in the middle of the night. He was scaring my wife. How was he scaring her? I mean, aside from being here at one or two in the morning, like no, oh, I mean that that that's, that's enough. Some strange person near your house on your land in the middle of the night. What else does he need to do I except mean, exist? I'm he sure he didn't mean to to trespass. I don't think any of us meant to do that. Um, That's neither here nor there. All I'm telling you is that Ben kid was brought nothing but trouble onto my land. Well, like, did he ever have anything on him when he came in? Like, was he just walking through or was he carrying stuff? Or? You seem to think that I sat on my front porch and waited for a 16 year old kid to come and trespass and then sat there to watch what he was doing. I just said, that is utterly ridiculous. I have no idea what he was doing. Uh, he was there, he shouldn't have been there. End of story. I, I, th I think what my, my sister is just trying to say is, did you notice anything strange? And I'm, I'm not asking because we, we think you were watching him or trying to figure that out, but rather 
I, I, we just Sometimes wanna know more things. about why he's gone. And that's why we're back in town and- Okay, okay. Mr. Machine, did I ever notice anything weird? Um, Worth mentioning? Yeah, I would say that a couple of times, um, and probably more than a couple of times, actually, I would say that over the number of years that Ben Isaac has crossed your property and, and trespassed through, you've noticed him, you know, bringing his bike for sure. But a couple of times you've noticed him bringing his bike, but also carrying like a serious camping backpack, you know, like one of those big ones that you would take to like go backpacking with. So like he's got, you know, he had that, he had the tent, he had sleeping bags, he had clothes. And one time when you chased him off the land, as he was running, he dropped a kind of decently sized cast iron frying pan uh which you decided to keep oh yeah that's a good pan nice cast iron cook mistakes uh, in it what was he doing going out camping in the middle of the night damned if i know but you know making well, something you do you know like which direction was he heading out farther into the woods into the wilderness was he heading back towards the town like I, I'm, I'm i'm so sorry it I'm depends so sorry. listen it depends on what night you're talking about i'm sure he went back and forth all the time i really don't know anything else and i'm really gonna have to ask you to leave to keep got, going on your way i got what i needed so yeah um uh, Listen, if you're chasing after Ben Isaac, uh, I'm not sure you're going to like what you find. Fair enough. I think I, I, I've got what I need. Uh, and as the lumberjack kind of heads off to go cut down their tree, the big old dog, Buddy, runs another kind of circle around you, runs a circle around the lumberjack and starts just running towards the movie theater like he knows where you're going to be going like he knows the fastest route and he's just he's walked that route with people so many times right yeah. this dog has escorted people from the bridge to the movie theater a million billion times yes, we will let buddy be our guide it's just like old times yeah it is i'm kind of really buddy. glad that he's still around hmm? Come back later, okay? And he bolts off after the after towards the movie theater, and you kind of like it's known. And I'll call that a scene. Yeah. Awesome. Can I just ask one one thing? Do we later hear a tree mm -hmm. fall in the forest? <laughs> I mean, if a tree falls in the forest and no one yes, hears it, absolutely. It's I'm trying to call my dog. And I will say this much for the cap of this scene: the lumberjack has been walking out there with an axe only and the trees are quite large it is going to take, take him, him a, hot second. a day to cut this thing down but when it does fall at some point in the future it will be preposterously loud <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> all right all so right. uh darlings what did you learn what was your I guess that uh, the that the movie theater is right on the edge of the forest, and that we cut through the uh, the woods and this dude's uh, the lumberjack's property to get there. Yeah. So, but what was uh, your what were you trying to? So I, I I was established something on a current like an existing lead. Okay. Yeah. I was also developing information on an existing lead, and I uh, I learned that the frying pan uh, was part of some elaborate camping rig that. Ben had been doing and let apparently he'd been going back and forth through the woods in the middle of the night doing something weird and lost the frying pan at some point. Now it belongs to this lumberjack dude. Um, so Ben was doing something mysterious uh, there for a bit. Yeah, so the uh, lumberjack started as a, um, a suspect um, and I think uh, well, 
I think is going to move in one to be a second level mm-hmm. suspect. Not a threat, well, really, right. but a second level suspect. Definitely also a suspect. <laughs> um, all right. So we've gotten halfway through and somehow managed, as we talked to, avoid some danger. But I feel like that means there's going to be quite a bit of it uh, oh, next week sure. as they continue the... the uh, Darling Rossmore twins continue to stumble into <laughs> into uh, answers, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, firstly, I want to say thank you so much, Amanda, for facilitating that first half of Cobwebs. That was a this lot a of fun, game. and this is a really, really cool game. Um, and then uh, I secondly want to say uh, thank you to everybody who's come in and rated, because that is awesome, and we really appreciate you. Um, some closing announcements, make sure, uh, to, uh, catch, uh, our other shows on this channel, specifically come and join us on Sunday for, uh, episode three of season three of New Pantheon. Um, and, uh, that happens at 4 PM PT, uh, right here on this very same channel. Uh, a couple of people you might know, uh, are in that show and, uh, oh. they're pretty cool. Like yeah, they are. Yeah. They're all are they? pretty cool. Oh. I've heard of one of them. One, one of them is a total person. loser, but the rest of them are pretty cool. That person is also just as awesome. They are amazing. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, well, let's go around the horn and introduce everybody. Um, starting, uh, we'll go back the other way this time. So, Max, uh, why don't you tell everybody where they, wh- who you are, where they can find you, and what you are up to these days? Sounds good. I'm Max Isaacson. You can find me on Twitter at Brosis Movies. That's like brother, sister movies. Um, that's most of it. I don't have any other shows going on in the world because uh, I'm hiding in all of your electronic well, you do. devices They're and just... gobbling them up. Uh, you yeah, do have other games. They're just not televised. Business, so They're back just not off, televised. internet. Yeah. Get out of my shit. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I love you. Come over. <laughs> All right. Uh, next I'll be right there. We have uh, Randy. Randy, tell them tell him what you are up to. Yeah. So I'm Randy Alvarenga. You? you can find me on Twitter at Roller Raja. That's R O L L E R R A J A. I need more Twitter fans because let me tell you, I'm just learning Twitter. So come learn and help me. Um, no. Besides that, though, uh, on my Twitter, you you can find out about a really awesome, cool. Uh, a game of Savage Worlds that we'll be playing over on uh, Dragons and Things called The Harbingers. This season, we're going to be playing Witches, and I'm so pumped because it's getting ready to launch real soon. So check that out if you're interested. I am interested. Thank you. Amanda? (laughs) Hi, um, I am Amanda Powers. You can mostly find me on Twitter, uh, at Geek Powers. Uh, Like Max, the rest of the games that I currently play are all private, Um, but uh, they're still fun. We had a D&D game last night that was absolutely Ah, wild. Dude, two permadeaths. In the same thing, I've never. Oh, did that? Did, Honestly, did I was so happy to see it. Like, I, I love you guys. But. Yeah. So there are a couple of people that you might know that play in my home D and D game, <gasps> where two of our characters uh, failed all three of our saving throws and are now now need to be resurrected in order to continue. But we well, don't you have a cleric to help do that, right? No, our cleric, cleric got died. <gasps> got cleric whole got kinds dead. of died. So dead. No it one is. else has any kind of healing ability. Yeah, the oh, other person who did have a healing ability, now. the bard, <laughs> also dead. Ooh, R.I.P. Yeah, yeah. So it's gonna be great. The cleric is dead and the bard is dead. So we. Anyway, yeah. Aki, who are you? Anyways, hi, I'm Aki. You can find me on uh, social media at Mix Genie in a Bottle. That's M X G I N I I N A B O T T L E. My entire streaming schedule can be found on my personal Twitch channel, twitchtv Shidari Aki. That's S H I D A R E A K I. Um, you can catch me. Next on Sunday for New Pantheon uh, at 4 p.m. PT. And yeah, uh, I have a game uh, happening with Free League for Alien uh, with the Colonial Marines uh, that will start airing some point soon. Um, But yeah, I play a Colonial Marine in the Alien universe. 
Uh, it's a three-part actual play with one of the game designers themselves running it. Uh, it's it's uh, it's going to be pretty Game cheap. over, man. Yeah, game totally over. Um, um, oh, you also... Hands. What about uh, Indicate? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you can catch me on Tuesday afternoons at 3 p.m. Uh, PT over on Indicate Twitch playing um a, a, a co-hosting a show called rp game changers with amanda's husband colin kelly and um we are currently doing a play an actual play of bluebeard's bride uh we did part one uh this past week we're doing we're starting part two next week bluebeard's bride is some wild wild shit y'all so if you want to see something truly <laughs> unique you should definitely come and check us out we have marks campus and b zelda as our guests for that um so it's a uh, it's it's pretty dang sweet. Pretty dang sweet. So yes, definitely come and check that out. Colin. That sounds exciting. It is very exciting. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. We're having a very, very good time. It's a, it's a cool summer show. All right. And I think we are about ready to uh, do our draw for the giveaway. We're going to be closing uh, that raffle out here in just a second and announcing our winner. Uh, according to D20 Robot, ah, Mini Marker has won the Die Hard Dice oh, Giveaway. Yeah. Congratulations, yeah. Mini Marker! Woo yeah, and thank yeah. you for the donations, yeah. by the way. So, yeah, yes. thank you so much for your donations. Yeah. Thank you for the raids. Thank you for all of the gifted subs and the resubs. Uh, make sure that your whispers are open, Mini Markers, so that we can get your information to make sure those dice get to you. Um, but also, even if you don't, didn't sub, we want we we of course love it, but we just want to thank you all for for watching us and supporting yeah, in that way yeah, too for sure uh yeah. make sure to tell your friends family people you love people you hate about the show uh <laughs> not people you hate tell your enemies honestly <laughs> yes. i want to know how that goes yeah yes tell all of your enemies about the show uh oh, want... oh if they're your enemies you could tell them you really wouldn't like it if they joined and watched and then they yeah. can and come and join and watch a lot yeah. of money yeah <laughs> and donate a lot of money all the time there we go. yep all right. In any case, we appreciate all of you. We cannot wait to see you next week for part two of Cobwebs, where we will continue to. Uh, oh, sorry, dog Colin is here. looks terrible. Oh. <laughs> she says bye, goodbye. Well, everybody say goodbye to Buffy, and we're gonna say goodnight to all of you. Goodbye. Good night. Goodbye, Buffers. Bye, bye, bye. Yes, my good. Word.